My goodness. That was quite a Wednesday working. But now that Wednesday's over, and you're halfway through your rig so far, why not chill out, take a load off, grab yourself a cocktail, take a load off. It's good vibe times. And my name's Cameron. Welcome to the show. I tried to do something funny that time. Did you like it? I liked it. And that's really all that matters here. It's about if I'm having a good time, and if you're existing. So if you're existing, you're already doing it right. Um, I'm doing a just chatting stream this time. Because, well, let's see. I like to make cocktails, and really didn't feel like playing a game this time. I got a recommendation from a very close family, from a uh, family member of mine. Hint. Uh, but she's like, you know what? I, I like, I like your streams and stuff, but, uh, you, you're not always behind the bar. I like the behind the bar stuff. And I was like, okay, mom, I'll do you one better. I'll do an entire stream where it's just behind the bar. Challenge myself a little bit. It's cocktail time, baby. Uh, I have a lot of books. I have a lot of books. Essentially, what I wind up doing in my free time anyway, as a hobbyist, can I sit on things? Can I sit? Can I sit on my briefcase that's actually just got a drill in it? Yeah. You can sit down for a little bit. What I essentially do in my free time as a hobby is I go through this book, or 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 the big one, and I just kind of see what kind of recipes that I have in those books and see if I can try and taste them and take some tasting notes on them to refine my palate a little bit. It's a, it's a bit of a journey. I've been doing this for a little bit, and uh, well, it's going to become a bit of a hobby of mine. And I figured, you know... Maybe somebody else is going to enjoy that. Maybe somebody else will learn something new out of these cocktail books, or perhaps even better, I'll learn something new along the way from somebody much more professional out there who is much more experienced than I am. I'm talking myself down a little bit because I'm not the expert on this. I don't think I ever will be. But uh, you got to start somewhere and you got to make goals. So essentially, all I'm going to be doing is flipping through these books, maybe making a cocktail, maybe making a mocktail to split things up a little bit. Kind of like what I've done for my Valhalla streams, except there's no gameplay in between or anything. It's just me, myself, I, these books, my table moving. Anna's in the background. She supports me, I'm as she always work. does. And she's supposed to be doing work. But instead, she's watching me. And you. And everybody. So I'm going to get this screen a little more comfortable for myself. And by that, I mean put it in full screen because I took my glasses off. I can't see it anymore. Just kidding. I have pretty good vision. I got 2020 in this eye and 2025 in this eye. Zoom goes to the car, which I think is a perfect place to start with. I don't know, a cocktail. Let's see what we got in the black book. This is my black book. I got it from my mother. It's cool. It's got her name in it. It's got her name in it. It's got my name in it. That's pretty cute. Maybe I'll put that in close up later. Nobody really cares. Only I care. That's exactly what we're here for. Essentially, I just kind of split. What I usually do is I split. I flip through this book. I kind of pick a random one, see, can I make that? Oh, I can't. And then flip it to another one. Can I make this one? I can't. Do it to another one. And eventually, that's how I've developed my entire, I wouldn't say it's exhaustive collection, but it's a rather large collection for a young man such as myself. Um, if anybody has an idea, any ideas, I encourage you to please pop them in chat or anything like that, because I have absolutely no direction here. I am winging everything. So you see a particular spirit that you you kind of like. You see you see up there in the corner. You're like, what's that pink one? Do, do the pink one. Do the pink one. That's peach vodka, by the way. And we could do something with it. I don't know. I'll try to. I'll flip through the book and try to find it. This thing doesn't have a glossary. It's really inconvenient to look through, but the big book does. So that's just what we're gonna do. My day was absolutely wonderful so far. I streamed a bit in the morning and pretty much took the entire rest of the day to set things up a bit over here. I I really like my bar setup. It's a uh, two little foldable tables with a tablecloth over top of it and uh that's pretty good i'd start off with something simple but like why would you come here for anything simple well you just want me to put peach schnapps in a glass with cranberry juice eh, that's cool and she'll probably like it but uh i mean i'll like it too it's sweet a ain't no problem with sweet drinks love love sweet drinks i i seem to turn to the peach fate uh, to, to the peach fit page what a coincidence because i was just calling it the peach uh, vodka i think it's a sign it's most definitely a sign. So that's what we're gonna start with. We're gonna roll with that flow there, flow with that roll, ride the wave, and see something peachy in here. I see the peach Alexander, uses a blender. Could use a blender. Nah, it's too early for that. Peach blaster, 
That's the cranberry juice one. Peach Blow Fizz. Use a gin, cream, sugar syrup. I'm gonna have to wait on that. I completely forgot my simple syrup, so I actually made some right before stream started. It's still cooling. That might do a lot of pressure on my, uh, my cocktail shakers. Got the Peach Breeze. A peach buck, peach bulldog, peach cobbler, peach colada, peach daiquiri, peach fuzz, peach mimosa, peach velvet, peaches and cream. And then it goes on to peanut butter and jelly, which is a frozen cocktail, but in a blender? What are you making peanut butter and jelly? Black raspberry, hazelnut, got both of those, dash of Irish cream, cocktail peanuts in a blender, grape jelly. I don't have grape jelly, unfortunately. Peaches, peaches everywhere. Millions of peaches. Peaches for me. Millions of peaches. Peaches for free. That's a song by the presidents of the United States. Oh, make a cement mixer. Now I'm curious. Is there a cement mixer in this book? It's probably in one of these books somewhere. Cement mixer sounds like a familiar cocktail. I've never made it myself, though. hey -o, Cement mixer. You fill a shot glass with Irish cream, add a dash of lime juice, and then you let it curdle. Let's do it. I need, what do I need for the cement mixer? I need Irish cream and a shot glass. Let's start off with something disgusting. Actually, it might not be too bad. Maybe people are into curdled cream. I don't know. I need my Irish cream. I got the cheap shit. That's what we're going with. I have Brady's Irish cream. By the way, I'll be going off screen very often because all my cocktail stuff is over there. That's how we do it. It's a delicious thing. What is fresh lime juice? Do I use free range rooster feathers? I don't think I do. What do we got here? Is he? He is. He will he do it? Yes, he will. Because you asked me. Ask and you shall receive there, Dalukare. Don't test me. Actually, no, I'll put it. I'm going to put it in this little square glass. Now I'm not going to do that to myself. The square glass actually holds a little bit more than the regular round glass. Those are my secret, those are my secret shot glasses up there. It's actually a shot glass chess set, which I've never actually played chess on before because now I'm missing a lot of shot glasses because I gave them to people. Alas. Cement mixer, fill it with Irish cream, dash of lime juice, let sit for 30 seconds. We'll let it sit for a little bit more because, I don't know, will it make it worse? Will it make it better? I'm not so sure. That's not what I'm here to test. This is not science time. This is do whatever the hell we want to time it's 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 a wednesday night it's a wednesday night bro cement mixer i'm filling this glass with irish cream it's brady's maybe you've heard of bailey's oh no this is his impoverished cousin brady's when you were a kid you did the chess it was a thing smart people did and hated but like you did buy like four chess sets i have this really interesting chess set it's a it's a three-man chess set. I have no idea how it works. I've never actually played it. I'd love to one day. You want to play chess sometime? Three-man chess? Crazy. Crazy. I'd love to try it sometime. I need a lime. Which means I need lime juice. So I'm going to take this lime. I'm going to juice it. But first, I'm going to cut it. So we need to cut thing. And uh, you know what? We'll, we'll, make it, we'll make it garnishy, too. We'll make it all, uh, we'll make it all pretty. Ooh, I need my... I need my... Uh, I need my cutty majigger. Not my jigger majigger. The cutty majigger. The jigger majigger is completely different. Classmates once taught in high school about chess, and then you forgot. I mean, it's it's a little, it can be a little confusing at times. To be per to be perfectly honest, if you're a chess player and you don't know about the M passants, are you really a chess player? So, uh, I know the cement mixer does not call for any particular garnish, but I'm gonna garnish it anyway because if I'm gonna torture myself and the people of this world, I might as well do it with style. Mmm, what does a lime rind smell like? Lime rind. Pretty good. Pretty good, I'll set that to the side. It's gonna be great. Uh, I tried to convince people to play a lot of things, especially that Anna chick over there. You should, you should see what happens when I try to ask her to play Minecraft with me. Oh, you do not want to be in that conversation. No ma'am. No ma'am, no sir. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Uh, yeah, chess can be a bit of a at times, honestly. I know uh, somebody I uh, follow on the interwebs, on the Twitches, plays chess. I don't know if I'd be into it. If it, Chess championships, I'm sure, are pretty hype. Everyone's sitting there, quietly, watching. What's he gonna do? How many steps ahead is he? 
Is he gonna do the ampersand? I don't know. I'm on the edge of my seat. I don't know. I've never watched chess before like that. Certainly not as intently. Uh, I okay, so I need lime juice, so I might as well just get a tiny little cup over here. Do I have a tiny little cup? I don't have a tiny little cup. I got a big old cup. Let's just fill that with fresh lime juice. It has to be fresh. I saw that on TikTok the other day. It has to be fresh. It's gotta be fresh. It's fresh. I bought them probably a week ago. But they're freshly squeezed. Actually, these aren't even the worst limes in my fridge. The worst limes in my fridge are have actually gone completely rock solid. Um, they're impossible to cut. But when you do cut them, lo and behold, there's actually quite a bit of juice in there. You can't use them for, um... What are you doing? You got me more glasses? Oh, thank you! Anna, why didn't you put your face on screen so everybody can see? You've got what the internet wants. Sorry, I had to. What the heck is with you in that line? You've got personality. That's what the internet wants. You gotta squeeze some more out of there. Yeah, squeeze it. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Empassant? Isn't that the Spanish foldover? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't play chess. It was just a bit. Please don't look too far into it. I don't, I don't know. I thought you did play chess. I play chess, and all I know about is the ambassant, and that's about it. Actually, if you're helping me, would you mind, can you just get me a little, just a little bowl for the scraps and stuff? I'll do it, don't worry about it. Thank you for helping me, dearest, you're the best! Okay, well, it says add a dash of the lime juice, so, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bar smooth. But basically, anytime I see a dash, like, I don't have a dasher, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Take a little bit in my fingers and just, yeah! Popcorn container! It's the it's the it's the trash. And then at the very end of the video, if you found all seven tiny party hats in the frame, I'll eat from this. It'll be great. No, you won't. No, I won't. <laughs> or maybe Why? I will. I don't know. Can you find all seven party hats? I'll give you a hint. Well, you never Two of them cannot be hat. seen right now. Wink. No, I haven't put on the party. I haven't had a reason to put on the party hat. We have to have a reason for the party hat. It's a it's a tiny little. It's a tiny little fedora part, or a, a top hat party hat. The top hat actually came on top of one of my gin bottles. Broker's gin. It was great. That was the only reason I bought it. It had a top hat on top of it. It was so cute. Okay. It's actually not technically a top hat. It's a bowler hat, but you know, really, who's paying attention to that stuff? I'm going to put a dash of lime juice into this, this uh, cement mixer. By the way, in case you're not at least vaguely familiar with chemistry, um, acid plus... Proteins that can be denatured means curdling. I'm gonna put a little, put a little of that in there. Wonderful. There is a process taking place. So uh let's get on that. If there's a process taking place, we gotta watch it. I got a special thing set up for that. I got a close scream cam. Yeah. I'm gonna grab a beer to drink along. I got some beer to actually I have an entire container of um of Guinness in my fridge right now. Because I got it from a restaurant, the jug was big. Big jug equals big fun. And I thought, man, what else can I put in that giant jug? I don't know. So, uh, we're gonna try this. I'll do a little close-up over here. Close-up of this, this thing curdling. So, uh, so we're gonna do that. A little close-up of this thing curdling. How do you like that? Ooh, doesn't that look enticing? Doesn't that look enticing? Doesn't that look beautiful? Is that in focus? Might not be in focus. There we go. A little close-up of that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Uh, please note, please note, I'm not endorsing drink. No, if you'd like to drink along, like, do it safely. Like, what am I gonna do? Tell you no? I can't stop you. I'm not your parents. Anyway, we're also gonna garnish this. We're gonna garnish this with a little, with a little lime spritz. Just like this. Little espresso spoiled there. Mmm. Let's take a smell. Oh, it smells like lime juice. I'm gonna just gonna drop that in our shot glass here. Wow, really breaking the surface tension there. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Gonna drink some Blue Moon because you're a little bitch girl. I'll have you know- Oh, there's lime juice in that. I'll have you know. Blue Moon brought back the style of the pills. Uh, the, the pills of the Pilsner from the German pills back to the Americas and really livened it up again. I only know that because I took a beer class. It was fun. Oh, can you have a sweet mocktail for later, Anna? Yeah, why did you have to put it in chat? You could just come and ask it. Whatever, whatever I don't question any stuff. Beautiful, beautiful. Orange syrup, you can mix some bootleg mezzo mix. That sounds beautiful. I actually just made myself some mint syrup the other day. It smells beautiful. So I'd like to, let's see, has that been 30 seconds yet? Okay, well, we'll just leave that for a little bit. We'll leave that to um, ferment on its own. We'll get back to that. Let's make another thing. I was thinking about peachy stuff before, so maybe we want to do some peach stuff. Mm. 
Uh, gonna pretend to do work. I believe that. Let's see. That didn't. That technically came out of this book, so I feel like I should go to another book. Oh, fun, fun. Could have sworn it was a Belgian white. Oh, you're totally right. Yeah, I'm getting that mixed up. It is a Belgian white. You're right. Swift correction there. I appreciate that. Or a lot of Belgian white stuff. I know there was some details about it. All I remember is that my beer professor, my beer professor, doesn't that sound cool to say? My beer professor made a big deal about Blue Moon and Allagash and what have you and whatnot. Maybe it wasn't even Allagash. I don't even know anymore. Anyway, Weiss beers are tasty. I like them. I think they're cool. I think the Allagash that I had a few weeks ago was very coriandery. And I'll be perfectly honest, I can't state explicitly what coriander tastes like, but somebody said, hey, that tastes like coriander. And I was like, Sure it does. Sure it tastes like coriander. I believe you. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna put my fruits back on the table. Put my fruits back on the table. God, you want to take a beer class? I had to. Dude, at me. I will send you all of my beer class notes. I will send you the textbook. I will send you the notes that I took on them. They were the PowerPoint slide presentations. It's, it's all like written notes on Microsoft OneNote and PDF document, but eventually I was like, I don't know why I'm typing this. I'm going to screenshot all the PowerPoint slides. So you want it. I got it. I'll send it to you. I'll link that somewhere. I don't know. Let me know. At me. You can talk to me. You can DM me on Twitter if you want to, or you can DM in chat right now. Who cares? You can DM in Twitch, which is weird because somebody did that to me the other day. And I was like, how did you do that? How did you communicate with me? This isn't a communicatory platform for anything other than live shows, I thought. Anyway, it was a... A little crazy. A little crazy. Shame that you hate beer. I used to feel the exact same way saying that I hate beer and whatnot, but it wasn't until I found beers that I actually like. There's a whole world of beers out there. A whole world of cocktails. A whole world of wine. And I don't know. I used to think to myself, wow, I say I just don't like beer in general. I thought it was incredibly naive of me. So I, did, I went around a little, little digging. And uh, some things I like. I like ports. I like, um, let's see, I like porters. I like, uh, those are fun. I like stouts. Guinness, stuff like that. Those are tasty. And I like things that have a little more complexity to them. For example, the Belgian whites and whatnot. They got a lot of spices to them. A little orange peel, a little coriander, from what I can tell. But that's cool. White beers are good. White beers are very good. I'm going to move to try to make another cocktail from this book over here while that thing continues to curdle. How thick is that now? Oh, I know what they call it. The cement mixer. I understand now. It's like cement. It's going to become harder over time. That's science, baby. This book is called Girls' Night. I picked it up at a thrift store, probably. It's by the publisher of Bartender Magazine, who, by the way, it's a magazine online, so you won't be surprised by this one. It seems that there's a good, there's a good number of drinks in this book that are just repeats of drinks elsewhere in the book. Like, it'll be like, all right, here's a couple of amaretto cocktails and it's amaretto with this juice amaretto with that juice amaretto with that juice amaretto with that juice and then we just pick a different spirit we say uh okay now it's uh now it's a uh, curacao curacao and that juice curacao and that juice curacao and that juice curacao and that juice and i, I was reading through this book i'm like i can't believe i paid for this this is an 11 dollar book 11 us dollar book like ugh. what is what is Kroosh? I'm curious about what that is. What is Kroosh? I'm gonna write that down. I have... I always have my note card to take notes about things that I don't already know about because I am attempting to expand my knowledge as much as I could. Did I pay $4 for it? How do you remember that? Because we went to the thrift did we do, store. Did we write about that? Did we, we go to the thrift store? Phone. I don't know where your phone is. Shit, I thought I lost my phone. Kroosh. I need it for my... Kroosh is good. Oh, I don't know if Kroosh is good. I'm curious. Oh, there it is. It's like soft drink... Combine it with beer, but like in a region-specific way. Interesting. So, ah! Well, I got Guinness and Coca-Cola. Stuff like that. What is it? Pop soda plus beer. I don't have any, like, classic beers or anything. I just have the Guinness, and it's been sitting in there for a while, so it's probably okay. But, like, uh, I'd have to try it. Oh, yeah, they're very round. Belgian beers, very round. I remember when I first took that class, they were like, would you describe it as round or not so round? I was like, the hell does it mean for a drink to be round? The glass is circular. It's like a kind of like well-rounded, like it's all a kind of smooth, smooth like that. I don't even know. Make Guinness Coca-Cola? I can do Guinness Coca-Cola. That sounds beautiful, actually. I put it in a shot glass and take a little sip of that. It sounds wonderful. 
Honestly? That does sound really, really good, honestly. Maybe put a little bit of like a, let's see, a Guinness, Coca-Cola, and something else creamy in there. I got a couple of different cream liqueurs in the fridge. Um, that could be cool. Like drinking bread and things and soft drink and a Coca-Cola Guinness beer. Various other ver versions in other regions as well. Interesting. Oh, that's really cool. It's one of those regional things. I got, I got drinks like that. I don't know of any particularly off the top of my head. The only thing I know is I think it's in Portugal. I believe it's Portugal. In Portugal, they use an Italian liqueur called Fernet Branca, which I have. And you mix that in various different ratios with Coca-Cola. And they call it the Fernet Con Coca. I learned that from the internet, and I'm very happy to know that. It was either Portugal? I think it was Portugal. I could very well be wrong on that. But it's interesting because it's an Italian liqueur. So they brought it over in Portugal. They were just like, this is great. We love this. People don't know about it elsewhere. I mean, the internet knows about it, but the internet knows about everything. Oh, what's in the girls' night catalog? Girls' night, girls' night. Is it girls' night? Is it is it boys' night? Is it people who don't follow under any of those categories' night? It's a person kind of night. And this is person's night. But now everything's pink. What the hell is this? Apple vanilla pop. That uses vanilla liqueur. I have no vanilla liqueur. <laughs> a slice of cheese. Oh, American cheese. I actually don't have any cheese. Oh, wait, no, I do. There's a block of white cheddar in there. That's all I have. I used all my Monterey Jack the other way. Very disappointing. Very sad. Mild cheddar? Mild cheddar? Is that what we got? Mild cheddar, then. Let's see. Let's see. What else do we have here? Ooh. This looks delicious. I have a cocktail here called the Atomic Green. And it uses creme de banana. I don't have that. I have banana schnapps. Melon liqueur de Kuiper. I don't have that. I'll use Midori. Peach tree schnapps. I do have that. I can put that together. Vox vodka. Every every single book, every single vodka in here use every single vodka drink uses Vox vodka. You could tell they had a sponsorship deal for this book. Pretty crazy. Liquid cheddar leaks from your arm. Oh, oh my goodness. Chunky and separated because cheddar doesn't. Oh, you should probably get that checked out. Atomic Green sounds like a license to say Hulk. You know what? I dig it. I like that. Atomic Green. If you'll excuse me a moment, or maybe you won't excuse me. Maybe you'll like, like hype me to get back on screen. I don't really know. I can't see chat, so I'm going to go collect these ingredients. I'll be back in a moment. But you can still hear me over here. It's not like I'm, I'm going to stop talking or anything. I'm just picking up some things from my liquor collection. By the way, if you're curious, my liquor collection is in a top right area of the screen if you see something that just speaks to you let me know i'll like i'll use it in a drink or something i'm here to learn new things just like everybody else's i also need my melon liqueur which is midori which tastes amazing i actually almost ran out of midori the other day so uh i to pick up some more the liquor store down the street i have no idea how they did this but they had a 10 percent off sale the entire store i didn't think that you could incentivize the sale of alcohol and i was like how did you do this how did you get things so cheap and they were like don't worry about it and i was okay with that because i was saving money on things that i would have bought elsewhere anyway so that's what we go with i'm a big vodka container i need a big vodka container i got the big vodka container and we need cream as well uh, i don't have cream but i got milk and uh that's what we're gonna go with we're gonna go with, we're gonna go with milk cream Milk cream. I don't have that with me right now. But I got all these bottles. <laughs> what am I going to do with all these bottles now? Oh my god. <laughs> Look at all these bottles I have. There's so many more. Did you check in the top right corner of the screen? I'm pointing in the wrong direction. Did you check in the top right corner portion of the screen? <laughs> There's a lot of bottles. <laughs> a lot of bottles. It's great. Atomic green. You mean piss color? <laughs> you need to get that checked out by a doctor. Like, seriously. You should call somebody about that. I don't think your pee should be green. Unless you put the blue in the bowl first, in which case, ah, that's not green coming out of you. That's crazy. Me going on a grinding quest. Oh my god, I need my cream. I almost missed my cream. Uh, how am I going to mark my page? Oh, uh, here's a tassel. Tassel, mark page. Time to go get some cream. It's not actually cream. It's, it's milk. It's almond milk, actually. It couldn't get any more disappointing than that. We're gonna go. Maybe if I shake it a bunch, it'll turn into cream. What if I just do that? Shake a 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 shake a
Oh my god. I completely scared, but I don't know how I did this. I whiffed past my table, and the tablecloth looked like a cat following me. I know there are no cats in this apartment, but I was freaked out nonetheless. This this cream brought to you brought to you by Silk Almond. It's not cream, but you want it to be. So <laughs> whatever. All right, let's make a cocktail for realsies this time. Not this cement mixer thing. How's, it, how's that thing doing down there? How you doing? Mix that up a little bit. Oh god, it got worse. Oh, we'll we'll check it out again. Silk is the brand Duncan uses. Does it really? Yeah, that's great. Do they have what kind of brand do they use for their oat milks? I've actually become a big fan of oat milk recently, and I'm I like it. Oh goodness, you know what else I need that I don't currently have? I need ice. Shake with ice, strain, serve it straight up. I'll show you straight up. I gotta, I gotta get some ice. I don't have a refrigerator over here. So here comes off-screen disembodied voice camera again. Ooh, spooky. Don't be scared by the ice sound. Oh, spooky, 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 spooky. Let's just put two in there. We're trying to conserve ice today. And it says serve it straight up. Straight up in a what? You know, you know. I'll serve it up in that glass over there because it says the strain and I got the strainer in it. I'm just talking to myself. It happens sometimes. <laughs> Shoot, forget. Aaron, Aaron, Cameron off cam. Get. <laughs> that was really funny. I like the get it because the. Did, did you get it? Did, did you get it? Did you get it? It's like, it's my name, but without the cam because the cam is off screen. You, you get it already. I don't know why I'm doing this. It, is my age showing? My age is showing. Clearly, I, I had to explain it to the crowd. That's why. All right, I need something on top of this, so let's use my bar spoon to, uh... No, actually, let's just use literally every single fruit I have to hold that in place. Well, nope, okay, I need another side as well. There we go, the phone will work for that. This, my jigger. I'm gonna use this. First off, we're gonna put into the thing some creme de banana liqueur. I don't have that. I have high-proof banana schnapps, so we're going with it. 99 bananas. Any more bananas? And, and we'd be going... Bananas. Or at least that's what I like to think. This the stream is already making me go bananas, and I haven't even started drinking yet. <laughs> if I was a girl, I'd be. If I if I was a girl, I'd be a cam girl. <laughs> Subscribe to my OnlyFans. Next ingredient is melon liqueur. I'll use Midori. Midori. Brought to you by the color green. That's half an ounce in there. Why did it fizz? The bottle fizzed for some reason. There's no carbonation in there. Or maybe there is. Oh, anime, watch anime. That's a good one. That's an old one. That's one of my favorites, actually. Whoa, don't ban Anna. I won't ban Anna. I'll never ban Anna. Anna's always allowed. What do, do you know what would happen if I banned her? She'd storm in from the other room and be like, Why'd you do that to me? Why, why'd you ban me from your chair? I, I wasn't doing anything wrong. It'd be hilarious. I'd laugh for a bit, but then we'd have a bit of a crying sesh. It'd be cute. And then and then we'd get over it, because that's that's how we take care of our problems. We cry it out. We cry it out. Like real men! We cry things out! We hug each other! We give each other f uh, warm embraces! That's how men deal with their problems. Maybe. Maybe that's just how I deal with my problems. I don't know. To each their own, I guess, right? Next, I need to add a half an ounce of the Kuiper Peach Tree Snops. As it turns out, I don't have that. I have a Faber brand made in Pennsylvania. Want to know why? Because I'm in Pennsylvania. United States of America. It's crazy. I love that. Man. Hide in the closet to escape, and it works. Really deep in that closet. Oh, you couldn't see that it was behind my curl. There we go. Half an ounce of the peach schnapps. Obviously, this is the first time I've cracked open this bottle. I'm looking forward to this. Actually, how does that smell? How does that have? Three rooms and one in a closet. Oh my god! Hi, mom! Wait! Wait! Hold on. Mother Calv is in the trap. We have to we have to bring out the balloon again. If you have a mother. Remember to thank her. It's almost Mother's Day. Early Mother's Day. Can you see that? That's a little... Anyway. There we go. Now the balloon's on top of the refrigerator, and now it's off the refrigerator. Well, that was cool for a moment. Oh! 
ban Anna Schnapps. That's a good one. Can I use that? I'm gonna use that. Do I have your permission to use that? Oh, uh, well, it's already too late. I'm gonna use it anyway. And if you've got a problem with that, I'll see you in trademark court or something. And then we need a half an ounce of vodka. And that's what we're gonna do. I get that. Yeah, there's not a lot of room here. We filled it up with a bunch of random stuff. I was just talking earlier today about how I'm not a minimalist. I'm not. Did you see the board games in the corner? How many board games do you think there are? There's a lot of them. I'll give it that much. A lot, a lot of board games. Check your pockets and find me the banana phone. Wait, I'm not a minimalist? Yeah, who would have guessed? Zoom! There he goes! You see, the people of Philadelphia like to buy big cars and big motorcycles that like to make big, big sounds to make themselves feel like they're important. I make myself feel important by telling myself I am. Hey, me. You're important. And that gets me going. What gets you going at, um... Oh god, what time is it? What gets you going at 9.30? <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? Thank your mom for giving me the not at all pompous name, Victoria the Second. It sounds so regal. But, uh, you know, maybe that's maybe that's cause and stops in your life that you just want to get rid of, in which case, you're free to move on. Move on with your life. Never stay put where you are. If you feel uncomfortable with the spot you are in right now, move forward. Or, or to the right. Or to the left again. Take it back now, y'all. One hop this time. Right foot, let's stop. Anyway. An ounce of cream, let's go. Or silk milk. Put that in there. Oh, I've dripped it on the table. That's why I have a tablecloth. You know what I don't have? A towel. Oh my goodness. I love this. Unironically inspiring. That's just... Silk milk. Who? Who knew? It tastes like silk milk. It's great. My strong and stable masculinity, whatever those losers outside are having in their substitute for silk and cars. <laughs> they don't know what they're missing. <laughs> anyway, I just spilled milk everywhere, so please excuse me. Or don't, while I go receive a towel for myself. I made a wet mess. Cameron, top ten boo-boo moments. This is one of them. This is one of my boo-boo moments. Cameron made a boo-boo. Now I gotta clean it up. That's fine. You know, like a real man, like a real man who doesn't rev their engine in the streets of Philadelphia while people are trying to go to sleep, you know what they do? They clean up after their messes. Oh, this says, say constrain, serve straight up. And that's really nice about this particular type of stream. I don't, I don't have to, I don't have to rush to make a cocktail or anything. It's nice. I don't feel like I have to get back to the game or anything. Don't get me wrong. Video games are great and all. But uh, honestly, just vibing. Just vibing feels real good too. Are you vibing? I got music playing in the background. Ye I can't hear it. You can hear it. Actually, I could hear it. Let's see. What do we got right now? Oh, yeah. Oh, let's shake to that. Let's shake to that. I'll shake to that beat. Oh, let's hear that. Anyway, that was cool for a hot second. And we're gonna shake it and shake it and shake it. Maybe I should shake it away from the microphone. Yeah, that's probably annoying for some people out there. <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> what cement mixer? I, I don't know anything about a cement mixer. Oh, that truck that went by? Yeah, probably a big old cement mixer. I totally get about that. I totally get you. I am going to strain this. Zoom, zoom, zoom again. Uh, I'm gonna serve it straight up. It says serve it straight up. What does straight up mean? I'm gonna serve it in this glass because I think it'll probably fit. Uh, let's do, let's do that close up again. Let's pour it on out. Make it look, make it look pretty, pretty beautiful. Like I am pretty, pretty beautiful. Hey, you're pretty. Oh, thank you. Pretty ugly. <laughs> Actually, this one should go on the. Let's go on the big thing over here so that we have a better view of everything that's going on. Boop. I'm going to pour this in my glass. Hey, look, a cement mixer. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. This is my glass. It's made of glass. 
Or maybe it's crystal. Honestly, I can't tell. And I'm just gonna double strand that right into it. Wow, that's pretty atonically green. It literally looks like I'm- th this cocktail thing is like pissing. It's great. It's beautiful. Oh god, what a sound. What a sound. Yeah, get them all out of there. You get all the good juices out of there. Man. That's great. That's great. Why'd you have to mention the crotch shot? That's why I wore the long shirt, so that nobody would have to see something like that. But anyway, here we are, so. Here we are. This is the, uh, what is it, the Atomic Green or something? The Atomic Green, coming at you live. Actually, that's very, it's very bright, very bright. Maybe I put a little closer. That's still very bright. Wow. Nice. Yeah, I, I guarantee you those guys have no idea what the hell they're doing up there. They're probably just making a big old mess of the road and have no idea. They're just like, ha ha, my tiles would be okay, right? No. No, they will not be okay. You're gonna go into the shop and they'll be like, what were you doing? Drag racing and stuff like that? They'll be like, ha, maybe. Maybe. <sighs> Bold of you that you're not subscribing for the crotch shot. Subscribe to my OnlyFans. Don't do it. I don't have an OnlyFans. I wouldn't even encourage that. There are children that come to this channel. There are literally children who pop in this channel and just like, ha, funny guy on television. And I say to them, no. No OnlyFans for you. We don't need it. <sighs> That's giving you the flashbacks of university chemistry class. The lecture hall wasn't large enough, so it was split into two halls. And then one of the lecture was live streamed onto the wall. I always wanted to walk in with the 3D glasses and piss the professor off. That's so crazy. Yes, there are children watching this stream about... I mean, I don't know if there are children watching right now, but we do mocktails here, too. This, this uh, 1001 cocktail book, full of mocktails. Tons of mocktails. And they, mock, they mark the mocktails with a little citrus wheel. I don't know. All right, well, I really want to try this one. But... I have something else waiting for me. It is the cement mixer. Now, don't get me wrong. I plan on making quite a few cocktails tonight because I just don't know when to stop. So I'm not going to drink all of them. Instead, what I will do is the ones that I don't finish, I will put in the fridge and promise to finish later in a more moderational fashion. Now time for the palate cleanser. Palate cleanser? Palate cleanser. Palate cleanser. It's a palate cleanser. That's not bad at all. Just tastes like Irish cream. That's it. A little bit of curdle in there. There's a little bit of... Okay, I'll, I'll be honest. There is a little bit of something else in there. It's slightly astringent. But like... But like... Nice. It's actually not too bad. Actually, I got something I want to try with that. I'm going to get another shot glass. The square one this time. And I'm going to strain out the solids. It's probably not going to work too well. But I'm going to strain out the solids... And see how that tastes without all the other gunk in it. I don't know if I'm going to pour this well. I'm not going to do this well. You know, I'm going to do this over top of my towel. So I don't make a big old boo-boo meth, meth again. I mean, yeah, I guess this other drink kind of looks like toothpaste. I, I get that. I totally get that. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Usually, they're not out on Wednesdays, but clearly they're feeling the same way I did when I first entered. <laughs> a little tired from the day's work. Oh, God, that is just... Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, God. That looks like snot and- oh, jeez, it's dripping down the sides. Oh, my goodness. Could have just used the other container. I'm gonna go take what looks like vomit off screen for a moment. It's, it's a science experiment. It's just science over here. It's science. We like to do science over here. I think the whole point of that drink was so that you drank the curdle. This is disgusting! Oh my god, I have to clean off my strainer! Oh, that's nasty! Wow, I don't think I've ever seen anything more putrid than it. It looks like- Puke in a cup? Oh my goodness. Why would anybody make me do something like this? Oh my god. Oh my now I even need a new towel. I'm gonna go for the blue one. Anyway. Now I'll turn the mic back on. Just gotta go on my keyboard and turn the mic back on. Did you turn it off? I did, didn't I? No. Sure I didn't. Maybe I did. That was a pretty good drink. It's pretty good. Actually, let's try it without all the uh the messy messy cement mixes in it. Let's try that. Let's try it again. Let's do it again! Vroom! Have I ever had a Philadelphia cheesecake? Yes, I have. It's beautiful. I actually prefer the New York cheesecake. 
the, the berries. The berries in there really get me. Yeah, no. Perfectly cut screams. The whole point of the drink is that you drink the curdles. Anna. What? Now they're quoting you. She's deep, bitch. Shush! Oh. I actually, I mean, I have had Philly cheesesteaks before. I got mine from a place called, oh, what's it called? Abner's. I think I got mine from a place called Abner's, which is over on 30, uh, might have been 36th Street, 35th Street, perhaps. It's on the corner of like 35th and like Sansom or something like that. It's a wonderful place. Abner's is a wonderful place to get a cheesesteak. People are always going between like the Pat Steaks and the Gino Steaks. I've never had either of them. Why would I go out of my way for that? A cheesesteak is a cheesecake is, is a cheesesteak. Cheesecake. Steak. Not cake. A cheesesteak is not a cheesecake. That was my B. But it was very, very tasty. They, they cooked it right there in front of me on the oven. It was beautiful. I loved it. And I, I was waiting for a good occasion. I actually didn't have a Philadelphia cheesecake in Philadelphia for the first three years that I was here in Philadelphia because I wanted to make sure it was special. And I went out with quite a few of my fraternity brothers and made it a whole time. And it's great. Uh, another thing that's funny about Abner's, it's right next to a strip club. I didn't go. The boys did. I went home. And that's everything I'll tell you and the woman behind the camera. Was it not a Wednesday or something? No, it wasn't a Wednesday. Crazy things only happen on Wednesdays. Oh, I forgot that was a thing. Crazy things happen on Wednesday. Yeah, okay, so honest opinions of the cement mixer. If you take out all the curdles and whatnot, which is probably the best part, right? I'm, I'm taking all the best parts out of the drink. It just tastes like, it tastes like Irish cream. Which is which? If I can describe this Irish cream, it's a little it's a little coffee y if that makes it any sense at all. It's a little coffee y creamy, and it's got this thing that pops in at the very end, and it's like, hey, did you think you smelled lime? Well, you did, and that's that's kind of what this is like, and I like it. Only one place in your town that has a cheesesteak. It's a bar. Too shy to walk into. That's okay. You just get us, and you're gonna explore around a little bit. There are baby beavers. Oh my god, it's so cute. In in uh, Green Colibri's hometown, so uh, you gotta gotta get on there. We gotta we gotta fly over. We gotta say hello. We gotta oh. say hello. We gotta say hello and say hello hello. Um. So now as well, I'm going to try the atomic line. What? Atomic atomic green atomic green. Thank you. <laughs> Atomic piss water. That was good. That even sounded like somebody pissing into a cup. And trust me, I know what that sounds like. Why? Well, I urinate like everybody else does. Why, do you Why are you looking at me funny? Weird about it? Why do you have to comment on it? It's a bit, bro. It's a bit. <laughs> Anna's watching me. She's just sitting there menacingly. Here, if I if I bend down, you can probably see her reflection in the window. Hey, we're gonna drink this drink down here. We're uh. I don't think you can see me. This is a safe space. I am it's currently hiding behind your computers. Okay, so it smells. You know what? This is gonna sound really, really funny and quite ironic, but this actually smells like a urinal cake. That's disgusting. It's got that, it's got that minty-ish kind of uh, almost fruity aspect to it. You're like, I think that smells like flowers, but there's definitely something else in there. That's what this smells like. And it reminds me of a urinal cake. And it's, it's great. It's just, it smells. I love it. Epic fiance man, yeah, totally. I am the epic fiance man, and she's the epic fiance lady. Anyway, let's give it a shot. How's it taste? It's not bad at all. What is it? Honestly, it reminds it has me. Midori, give me. It does have Midori, right? You are not gonna like this one. Why? Because it's not enough of everything else. But it's it's a it's a little it's a little peachy. It's kind of peach pity. If you've ever bitten straight into a peach pit, it's kind of like that. It's a little bit at the end. The top is very, the front part of it is very drying. And I honestly, I don't taste the vodka anywhere in particular in there. Vodka is incredibly uh, neutral. So uh, if I did taste the vodka, that'd be shocking to even me. Too it's much very, banana. yeah, it's very Midori forward and it's very banana forward. Midori. Well, it's fine, but then there's banana. Yeah, there's Midori. And that banana tastes like alcohol. Midori, 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 Midori. Welcome to my hero academia, Midori. Anyway, melon. It smells a lot like the melon. It tastes a lot like banana and the melon. Banana and melon's a eh, very interesting combination together. That's nice. It's like fruity, like three men playing chess at the same time. How does that work? Who knows? I don't know. That's actually not too bad. It does look kind of, looks a little Shrek-y in there. A little shrek -y. Yeah, it's like, I think, 
the banana schnapps being so high in proof, I think, takes it over. So the banana schnapps, I think, is in addition to the, the like, alcoholiness that comes way in by the vodka, which is, I mean, it's not a particularly intense vodka. What is this? Like, it's, uh, it's, it's 80 proof, Lou. It's not like the, the most alcoholic vodka I've ever you had. You have 99 proof and 80 proof stuff in that? Yo, that's actually a really good point. So, the 99 bananas is higher proof than the vodka. Now, that's interesting. I, maybe that's why this tastes so interesting. Yeah. I think you need a new banana thing. No, the banana thing's good. It's good. It tastes... Taste no, smells like banana. It ruins all the drinks with banana in well, them that now. just means so that just means I just have to add less of it in the future and more Midori. You tried that ninety nine watermelon straight? I saw that at the store the other day and was like, I wonder what that tastes like. It probably tastes. Is it more like watermelon, watermelon, or more like that bakery watermelon? Like you get like in a watermelon Jolly Rancher. The two are completely distinct to me. I don't think they taste anything alike. Kind of like confectionery cherry and a regular cherry. Like Dum Dum lollipop cherry tastes nothing like regular cherry. I don't know. It's just a completely different flavor. It's like drinking hand sanitizer. Like the Jolly Rancher. Yeah, like confectionery watermelon. You're just like, if I never had store-bought watermelon stuff, things that are flavored watermelon, then you'd have no idea what that flavor is. You'd be like, that's not watermelon. That is not what watermelon tastes like, or does it? I mean, clearly, that's at least that, that's how I feel about the cherry dum-dums and whatnot. It, they're not really, they're kind of cherry e. But they've got all the parts of the cherry that I just don't pay attention to when I bite into the cherry. So, yeah, and I guess they're... Oh, that's another thing, too. Like, some people are very, very... A lot more affected by that, like, alcohol taste and whatnot. Anna, for example, is a wonderful example of somebody who is a lot more... Like, if there's alcohol in there, like, she's gonna get it. If there's alcohol in there, I might not get it, but that's not usually a problem in my case. The taste of alcohol, or rather, the reaction of alcohol in my mouth, in my esophagus, in my tummy, in my body, is not super duper bad for me. I don't really mind it too much. I don't think it's that bad. Um, but then again, I got used to that over time. Don't get me wrong. My first shot of whiskey was at the age of 13. Ha ha ha, love you parents. You thought it was the, you thought it was jokes on me. Well, jokes on you. I liked it. There's too much whiskey. Too much whiskey. Well, I got plenty of whiskey here now. Exactly. That's great. I got plenty of whiskey. I got plenty of rum. Actually, I have a lot of rum. Let's make a rum drink next. Let's make a rum drink next. Next, I like that. Oh, you know what? I don't like the way that that cement mixer is mixing with my with my atomic whatever. That's why. That's why. Why I've got water over here. No, you don't. Or at least I told myself I do. It's over there. Where's my water? Popular game on the App Store for a long, long time. Also featuring a cameo appearance by Perry the Platypus and Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Where's my water, says the crocodile. Where's my water? Found it. It was on the counter. No problem. Drinking at the age of 14 is legal. Really? Under parental oversight? Yeah. My parents were there. They, they were both there. So, uh, and they... They facilitated. They were like, "Tell me how that tastes," and I was like, I mean, it's, a, "It's really powerful, but like, it's not, it's not that bad." And they were like, "Oh no, what have we done?" They did not do that. What are they, well, they didn't actually do that. This is just me like hyping up the story, you know, a little, little emphasis, 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 emphasis. More drink. Wait, Let's pasta. Do like pasta. And no, I'm not doing the pasta thing again. Not unless somebody specifically requests it. I'm not gonna do the pasta thing again. So By I the way, the pasta thing is just me saying pasta. I'm a very Italian man. Have you noticed the hands moving? I'm also a bit of German in there. I got a couple of other things as well, like a little bit of Mediterranean melting pot and whatnot. Pasta thing. I'm not doing the pasta thing. Only because you asked me to. Pasta. 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 That's there you go. It. That's the pasta thing. That's the pasta thing. Pasta bazool. Pasta Wait, were you there? Oh my god. Ooh, excuse me. That was a, that was fun. I did I did do that. You're bringing bringing back those memories. You weren't there, but yet somehow you were right on the money. You that's have to do it again. that's incredible. You're just also Italian. Well, I knew, I knew, but now the rest of the world knows. Hey everybody, we got an Italian in the audience. Hey, why would you do that? Why would I do that? I could really go for some pasta. We ate rice tonight. I need another cocktail. Hmm. Tony, come on, what do you got to say about all these cocktails? There's a thousand and one of these. I love this book. It's a big, fat book. It's got a bunch of pictures in it. Perfect for children. And I also found it on the side of the road. Serendipity. 
I wonder what's in it. Let me see if I can find a nice mocktail in here that I can give to Anna. <laughs> and share with the world. The world needs more mocktails. We can't just be getting drunk all the time around here. We can't just always be doing that. Sometimes sugar drink. Sugar drink. Sugar, sugar drink. drink. Sugar drink. Sugar drink. Sugar drink. Where's my drink? Can I can I get there first? No. Let's see. Here's a couple of mocktails. Uh, they are under the let's see which category. This is a this is a category. This whole book is categorized in a very interesting way, if I may add. Who are the anyway? There's mocktails over here. Yes. Yeah, no, it's it's crazy. You find syringes on the ground, you find books on the ground, you see people on the ground. It's Philadelphia's a great place. You see condoms on the ground. Well, I don't usually see condoms. Next to that's condoms that's true. On the ground. That's true. You see a lot of things on the ground. You know what? Actually, this is hilarious. I was walking back from uh, a few blocks down, like, like 10, 12 blocks down, when all of a sudden I'm walking down the street, I got my earbud in my ear and listening to some lo fi music, kind of like we're doing around here. And all what I see as I walk up the street is a wrench on the ground. Right in front of me. Want to see the wrench? Where the wrench at? Where's the big, big, big wrench? I don't know if I can pull it out because, because there's not enough space over here. My God, where's the wrench? Where is my wrench? Actually, it's probably down here. No, it's probably in the lower compartment. Anyway, wrench, wrench. Excuse me. Yeah, I don't have to rush for anything. I don't have to rush. We're not getting back to anything. Wrench, wrench. Yeah, I found a wrench on the ground. Oh, disgusting, disgusting wrench. Where's my wrench? If I just fiddle around in here for a little bit, I should find my wrench. Where is my wrench? Where is my wrench? Where is my wrench? I know it's around here somewhere. I was using it just the other day to crush ice. Did you put it back? I don't know. I don't know where it would be. The Red Dragon inbox is in the way. That's your fault. It's causing me pro It's my fault. Dude, you are the keeper of the board games. You are the keeper of the board games. Where is my wrench? Probably here. It. Please ignore the sounds of metal clinking. It's totally normal. I think it's gone, dude. Not in there. Where is my wrench? Where is my wrench? It's a giant wrench. How could I have missed it? How could I have misplaced it? Oh my god. I'm so lost without my wrench. I'm so sad. Where could I have put this damn thing? I'll keep looking later. Anyway, there is a big wrench. Anyway, wrench. Like this big. Big wrench. Right smack in front of me on the sidewalk as I'm walking, and then my immediate thought was, okay, let me use video game logic here. There is a wrench right smack in front of me in front of my path. This means I will need to use this wrench later. So I took the wrench and I walked down the street with it, with my wrench, and just holding my wrench in my hand, thinking like, I'm gonna use this for whatever the fate had in mind for me today. Uh, I use it to crush ice. Why, why use wacky bag when I could use wacky wrench? <laughs> wacky, wacky wrench, right? <laughs> violence is always, violence is not the answer. Violence is the question. The answer is, uh, yeah, obviously. Oh my goodness. Oh, the shit you find on the ground in the college district. Of this is in the college district. Drinking age is 14, allowed to buy alcohol at 16. Wrench. I thought you said wrench. On the other side, harder, very expensive to get driver's license, which is why you don't have one. Oh, that's okay. You'll get one eventually, if you want to. And if you don't, eh. What we got you here for? And you're all out of wrench. <laughs> I'm all out of wrench. I'm so lost with ads. You. That's great. That's funny. I'm so sad I can't find my wrench. It must be around here somewhere. I don't know where that wrench could have possibly gone except in those two drawers. Everything has a place around here. And that wrench had a place. I, I just I just don't know. I just don't know. My goal is to find There's the wrench again later. Oh, I just, I want that wrench. I'm so, I'm so distracted by the wrench. Bike license too? Oh, nice. Well, that's pretty, it's pretty convenient. Let's find a mocktail in here. Let's find a mocktail I can actually make in here. Let's start with the beginning. Oh my god. Okay, well, this is unfortunate. So guess what, Anna? What? There's a kiwi drink in here. Mocktail. But it also needs passion fruit juice. The only passionate fruit thing I have is more liquor. That's all I got. What would you do that to? It's crazy. Whoa, what's going on over here? There's no video game this time. It's just... It's just a 23-year-old man who has no idea what direction he's going in his life, standing in front of a camera, speaking to not only himself, but other people drinking. Camera, like, what the hell? Cheers. And yeah, you're right. Kiwis are delicious. Look, I got a kiwi right here. The snack that smiles back. Kiwi. That's not how that goes. 
It's the power that's inside. Kiwi, gotta kiwi them all. Isn't there a Pokemon that's a kiwi bird? Have ever had dragon fruit? Yes! I have had dragon fruit. The Whole Foods down the street sells two different types of dragon fruit. One type of dragon fruit is the red one, which you're very familiar with, I'm sure. And there's also the yellow dragon fruit, which is a kind of bit like the red dragon fruit, except it's a little less forward on the citrusy mucus thing and a little more forward on the sweetness. It's very interesting. I I loved it. I'd love to do a dragon fruit cocktail. But I went to we went to Whole Foods earlier, and they the, the wacky food aisle, which I'm calling the wacky food aisle because that's okay, it's like it's exotic food, right? It's foods that I say exotic because they're not grown here. I mean, maybe they are grown in America. Most of them are okay, America. it's the fruit aisle of fruits that I don't normally see anywhere else, like star fruit or dragon fruit or durians or jackfruit. You ever seen a jackfruit? That's a big fucking spicy, spiky baby. Big spiky baby. And it apparently tastes like meat. I've always wanted to buy one, but that's a... It's like six bucks a pound. It's like a full-grown fetus. It's heavy. It's crazy. Didn't like it the first time. You expect some more? Yeah, no, it's not. It's like, like dragon fruit doesn't really have a lot to give. It's very subtle. It kind of tastes like a citrusy mucus to me. But you know, there's something to be desired about that. And yeah, jackfruit is just. Mm, they try to tell me that you could, they can make burgers with it. I'm sure they can. I've never had one. I'd like to though. What have we got in here? Uh, fresh mint. I don't have two ounces of fresh mint. I actually just took all my mint off the leaf, off the stock the other day. Pretty crazy. Pineapple juice, orange juice, uh, I don't have a gallon melon. Eye of the hurricane means more passion fruit juice. What I'm doing right now is trying to make a mocktail. It just requires a lot of juices, and I don't have a lot of juices. I have a lot of cocktail mixers and whatnot, which are all alcoholic, so I'm trying to do something a little out of the box here. Juices also don't keep for very long, so the reason why it's a little difficult for me to make mocktails is because I would need, like, an extra fridge for all the stuff that would go bad if left not refrigerated, and I don't have enough refrigerator space. I barely have enough freezer space for the ice that I have, so I can't really keep all these juices around without them just going moldy and going bad. The alcohol has, well, alcohol in it, and alcohol kind of kills off microbes and organisms, so those bottles will keep for a long time. The, the, like, the, the cream stuff might separate after a while, but you just give that bad boy a shake and it's totally fine. Like, the, the Brady's, that, that Irish cream that I used, which is still over here, this Brady's, I've had this for two to three years. I'm almost done with it, finally, but it still tastes the same way as it did the same thing. Bring you over and I'll hold the fruit juice and drink it. Nice. Yes, I, I, wanna, I wanted to get together. I, I'm so looking forward to getting together with people again sometime. My, my whole cocktail rep repertoire, repertoire, my cocktail repertoire is like off the charts right now. Like I have so many cocktails in my brain right now and, and in my notebook and in my personal recipe notebook. Yeah, anyway, you, you get the idea. Let's keep looking for more mocktails over here. Um, that's just actually a lot in here. Oh, here we go. Starting up at the front, the cranberry energies. Cranberry juice, orange juice, fresh raspberries. Do we have raspberries in the fridge? No. Ah, oh, we have... Mm, I, I saw two red things in there. We got the strawberries and we got cherry tomatoes. We're back. I think we're back for round two. So let's give this another shot. <laughs> I'd like to wholeheartedly apologize for that little blip there. I don't know what happened. The whole computer crash. That was pretty funny, actually. <laughs> that was very funny. I have no idea how that happened. But uh, you know what? It done happen sometimes. We're back. Welcome back to Bar with an X. The X is silent. Let's get back into it. We're making mocktails. If I can find one that works. Acknowledged! Anna's been acknowledged! She says acknowledge her! You've been acknowledged! You want a drink? I'll acknowledge you with a drink. You've been acknowledged with a drink. Let's try that. Can I? Yes, I, the touchscreen works on this thing. I love it. I'm short for camera. Uh, get it? Camera is short for camera. Uh, it's, it's funny. I, I, I thought it was pretty funny. Um, raspberry syrup, I don't have. Elderflower cordial, I don't have. Um... All these fruits, I don't have. Black currant berries, I don't have. But God, I wish I had currant berries. When I was over in Germany, I had a bunch of... I had a whole bushel of red currant berries that I just kind of popped in my mouth as we walked down the street. It was great. Oh, I love those berries. Uh, lemon juice, orange juice, strawberries mashed. What the hell is phrase? I don't know what phrase is. What is phrase? I'm gonna look up what phrase is. By the way, I have no idea where 
My, uh, I don't know where the wrench is. Neither Anna, Anna, Anna nor I could find the wrench. It's like eight it's like inches. It's like it's a big wrench. I don't know where it was. I can't re- I can't- Wait, Frace's strawberries in like- fr Why does it say- It says- The com ingredients say- Frace- And mashed strawberries. Frace. Strawberries. What is Frace slang for? Face? Frace- Is it- Is it supposed to be strawberry juice? Do I juice the strawberry? Oh my god. That's weird. That sounds good. You want a strawberry drink? We'll do strawberry. Requires lemon juice, orange juice, mashed strawberries, frace. Did I wash my strawberries? Uh, egg yolk. Ew. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, come on. Denied. Come on. It's egg yolk. It's it's tasty. Denied. Okay, fine. Anna says she don't want. That's how I'm acknowledging her presence. I'm going to make it a cocktail. Cherry orchard, apple juice. We don't got that. Orange juice, lemon juice. But So nothing with egg yolk in it either? Nothing with egg yolk. Oh, you were so particular. That's okay. That's it's okay. It's okay. Berry berry red requires raspberry. The number strawberry free is a lime, strawberries, powdered sugar, ice cream, lemonade or soda water, strawberry syrup to taste. I don't have strawberry syrup, but I have simple syrup that I just made. We're gonna go with that one. The berry berry red. No, I'm sorry. The summer strawberry fizz. The the Yeah. Crazy. The egg yolk will well, like the egg yolk. All that's gonna do, the egg yolk is gonna provide color, and it's also gonna cause a bit of frothing to happen. But honestly, the you'd better off be using egg white for that, and not egg yolk. I mean, egg yolk makes the cocktail, the mocktail, very dry on the tongue. It's it's interesting. By the way, is music being played? Can we hear music? Yeah, it has it on the bottom. Yeah, I think I got music. Wait, what'd you say? You said it says at the bottom what music is playing. Oh, never mind. It says Celeste is playing. On my screen? Who got that? No, it isn't. You wrong. You cannot hear the music? Oh, let me try to fix that. I did have music. Oh, it's there. a very, it's very background sounding. Okay, okay. Well, let me, let me turn that up a little bit. I can turn that up. I can turn that up a little bit. Let's do that one. Oh, now I can hear that. Let me turn that down for myself. Is that better? If that's too much, that's nice. Perfect! Very nice. Perfect. I'm glad to hear it. I have to adjust this every once in a while. I don't always listen to my own things. I do mic tests beforehand, but it doesn't always work that way. Alright. Herchen Durkin Herochen. Yes. <laughs> and on that note, I'm gonna go find some mocktail ingredients, so if you'll excuse me for just a moment, I'm gonna go do that. Oh, and I'm taking this with me. What are you taking with you? My atomic disorder. Oh, crap! Don't touch the recycling. It's all over the floor. It's okay. Tasty, tasty, num, num. Tasty, tasty, num, num. You know what? This simple syrup is probably uh, cooled off now, so I just put it in the bottom. Great. How about you do things on screen? Okay. I'll do it on screen. Let's do it. Funnel plus vodka bottle plus pan of simple syrup equals... Camera on screen. And now I would like to present to everybody the process that we like to call Suga Botman, which means to bottle your simple syrup. Take your simple syrup. Mine's in a pot. It's still a little warm. Pick a bottle. I picked a vodka bottle. Stalichnia. Mmm. Yeah. And a funnel. And, uh, do your thing. Do your thing. Pour it into the bottle. How many mm. strawberries How many strawberries? Uh, I don't know. Check the book. The book's over there, on the table. Oh, very, very tasty. Yes. German is very funny. German is a very funny language. You want to learn some German? And actually has been trying to do a lot of German on the Duolingo app. I know yeah, a bit of German. I don't really have time to actually pay attention to it. It's hard to learn. I don't think it's super hard to learn. Mm. Simple syrup. What was in this little pan here was just equal parts water and sugar put together. I have, uh, I got mint syrup which I have. I also have spiced syrup, which I also have, but I had nothing simple, so like... So like... Yeah, you should learn German. Everybody should join German. Yo, this actually filled up a lot of the bottle! It's so brown looking. My favorite. Okay, so the simple syrup is gonna stay over here, because I'm actually gonna use that in the next cocktail. I just need to think. Bless you, dearest! Bless you! Oh, Gesundheit! Gesundheit, my madame! Should I prep these, or do you want to prep them? What are you prepping? Do you know what the- what is the recipe called for? It says pour 
strawberries. I'm just gonna leave. And it says freeze. I don't want freezes. Should so, I just uh, grab more strawberries? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna uh, oh wait, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's the wrong one. This one is a different one. Freeze is not in this one. It is lime. I have lime juice. Uh, four mass strawberries. Four or more mass strawberries. How many strawberries you got? Four. Four. Four it is then. I also need powdered sugar. Sifted. We have powdered sugar. I don't know if we have a lot of it left. This is gonna make an absolute mess. Love powdered sugar. Love, love powdered sugar. And I have a sifter. What are you doing? I had a sifter already. Too bad. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. We also need ice cream. We also need ice. Do we have ice cream? Oh, never mind. We have a little bit of ice. Okay, a little bit of ice. Uh, I don't think uh, we have that much ice cream. We also need. What was the other thing? Huh? It's a soda water or lemon aid. So I have soda water. Perfect. To taste. Strawberry syrup to taste. We don't have strawberry syrup. Powdered sugar. Ice cream. Did you get the ice cream? I need a spoon. I need to be a spoon that ain't too big for my cocktail. Hmm. Spoons on a cocktail. Spoons on a cocktail. Actually, with the with the cap to the to the wiki. I don't know. Well, it was over here somewhere, so let's find it. There you are. I found the top to the vodka bottle. I'm gonna have to relabel it at some point, and I'm gonna be like, wow, how did my vodka get brown? That's confusing. Wowza! Good young tights! Ooh, mein madame. <laughs> if only I knew a native German speaker to practice with. If only. If only I knew. What? It's it's a joke. Oh. It's a joke, because see, there there is a native German speaker that I am at least partially familiar with. I'd, I'd say, I would say, I would even argue that I've, I'm like, buddy, buddy. But, uh, you know, I don't want to be too fair about that. I added more strawberries. You added more strawberries? I like strawberries. And I got very... Oh, wait, you have a knife. Whoa, Dadu Kari, you have a super hot German girlfriend? Nice. I can't say the same. I am German! I don't think she fits any of those criteria. She's not super. She's not hot. She's... I mean, I guess she's girlfriend. No, she isn't. I, I don't have a girlfriend. You're ultra beautiful fiance, and you're not you're German, but you're not like all their German. I'm thirty-seven point five. What are these words? Should I say these words, or are they offensive? I don't know. If they're offensive, I'm not saying them. I'm gonna wait on confirmation for that. I don't speak that language, though I'd love to say it. <laughs> I don't speak that language. Oh, Shake all the ingredients except for the soda water or lemonade and syrup and syrup and syrup. Okay. Okay, so this I goes to the side. Not this goes to the side. You promise? Well, in that case, Gubnerhupfen and Fruben Gnatched. Gnatched? Or Gnatched? Fruben Gnatched. Nice. Are those like, that like strawberries? That'd be awesome. No, strawberry is airberry. I know that. Airberry. Berry of the earth. I like that. What have we got? Camera about to get getting killed on camera. Did you hear that bleep? Did you hear that sensor? You didn't hear me say the bar word. You didn't hear it, because uh, it censors. Promise. And uh, in case you thought you heard me use the F-bomb earlier, prove it. Just kidding. Uh, juice of a half a lime. All right, let's give me a cocktail shaker. Let me get a cocktail shaker. Let's use the... Whoa! Oh my god, that flew right off. Whoa! Uh, you like the, meet the muting with the bleeps? Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. I gotta, gotta get a software upgrade for that one. I need some ice. Why are you using that one? You're gonna give me the one that smells and tastes like aluminum? No, you're not gonna notice it. Yes, I will. I'm picky. Only I notice it. What, you have a problem with this particular cocktail shaker I over here? You don't like this though. cocktail shaker over here? Fine, I won't let you have this cocktail shaker over here. Cocktail shaker over there. Bye-bye. <laughs> Nobody needs that anymore. Let's use this cocktail shaker. It's the better cocktail shaker. Ooh, that's awesome. You don't need that anymore. Who cares about that? You should really just send that one out. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, baby, baby. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. Oh, very good sensor. Oh, dear. Unglaublicher Miskatrankbentur. Tower? Tower? Tower. We'll take that. Anyway, I've got ice in the container. I need half an ounce of lime juice. I just noticed how much cocktailing I'm not doing over here. I'm just doing a lot of talking. I need half an ounce of that, so I'm pretty sure I have at least half an ounce left. Yes! Yes! It's almost perfect! Lime juice. Container. It's easy. Easy enough. Got that? Got that. Let's see what else we got. We also have masked straws. 
So uh, I got a bunch of straws. Let's go with one. Oh, it's on the floor. No. Oh, strawberry. Wait a minute. Where did the strawberry go? Oh, oh, strawberry not on the floor. It fell on the box underneath with all the balloons in it. Shh. Don't tell anybody about the balloons. One straw, two straw, three straw, four straw, five straw, six straw. That's a lot of straw. Wait, I didn't cut off the green parts. It gets strained. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Ah, first time you're saying actual German words in here. The rest was all gibberish. Be Evil? Why would you do that to me? That's funny. Yet sind Fussel an der Erdberry. Strawberry down, strawberry down. Oh no. <laughs> That's something. in chat. Something about the strawberry. I got something it about the strawberry. I need to crush this up with something. Uh, what do strawberry I have? Strawberry strawberry. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. No, wait. I don't get it. What if I use... Wait a minute. I have another co cocktail shaker. Where'd the other cocktail shaker go? Oh, here you are. I'm gonna use this cocktail shaker to mush up the strawberries. Squishy, squishy, squishy. Oh Actually, that's not a really good idea. Wow, that's pretty... Oh! There's still stuff in there. <laughs> mm. This is mm. disgusting. This I need so something... Nice. I need something to crush that with. So, what's useful to crush up strawberries with? A wooden I spoon? Don't know. Wooden spoon? Wooden spoon! I've got a wooden spoon. I am super concerned. About I've got a lovely bunch of wooden spoons. Da, 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 da. Actually, I've just got one wooden spoon. So, uh, yeah. Have four against the Baron get quetched. Cool. I don't know any of those words except for the. I've got a lovely bunch of strawberries. Here they all are sitting in my cocktail shaker. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm just mushing up some strawberries here. This is what we call muddling. If I had a muddler, this would be a whole lot of, a hell, hell of a lot easier. I don't have a muddler. Anyway, um, well, I'd say that I've successfully eviscerated those strawberries. Mmm, that's tasty. Sour. A little sour. Kind of like that. Uh, what else we got? We also have one to two teaspoons of powdered brown sugar sifted. I don't know how many teaspoons that is, so I'm just going to open up the container and try it. Oh, crocktail. Crocktail. Cocktail for the advanced and dangerous. Nice. Advanced and dangerous. Yeah. If you, um... If you don't fear the strawberries, this is the cocktail for you. I was going to take some powdered sugar, and I'm going to attempt to, as much as I possibly can, not get a bunch of it in the cocktail shaker. I'm just going to sift a bit of it. There's some powdered sugar in there on top of my sifty boy. Sifty, 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 sifty. Sifty, 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 sifty. This is my sifter. This my sifter. This, that's a lot of sugar, so I think we're good. I gotta make sure that, uh, we watch Anna's blood sugar. What? For whatever reason. And then I'll, and then I'll let it give it a tap. There we go. There we go. That's perfect. It's a lot of sugar. I can't wait for that to poof up everywhere. I gotta be careful with the sugar. It gets everywhere. Oh, get it? If you use the rooster, you use the rooster egg. It's a cocktail. Get it? My blood break. My heart rate is currently 83. Your heart rate is 83? It's fine. Well, thank you so, so I very much for sharing that with everyone. Pass out. Yo, what's up, V? We got an exam in like six hours. Dude, pass out. Take your rest. And, uh, and I hope, I hope to goodness you pass your exam. Because if you don't, well, I won't do anything about it. We'll still love you anyway. You're always welcome here. It doesn't matter if you're a high school dropout, college dropout, no dropout. I'm not saying dropout, but if you did drop out, you're still welcome here. Woo! It's good. It's always party time. Yeah, right. And if they succeed, then well, I mean, I'm now I'm now I'm proud. Now I'm just proud of you. I'm proud of you, whatever the case is. You'll make your life great one day. It'll be great. It'll be great. Oh your streams help you when I'm going through it. Oh my god. You were so welcome. You are so very welcome. And I hope to be able to keep this up as long as it keeps me. Listen, as long as this is keeping people smiling. I'll keep doing it. I like to smile. You like to smile. We like to smile. Anyway, I'm not going to get too far into that because that's creepy if I smile too much on camera. What if I, you know what? I'm going to make the rest of this cocktail just smiling with my eyes wide open. Kind of like this. I don't like that. Don't. Make way for VO, our newest VIP. And for that, we do party hats. Because people who drop their subs get a fanciful party hat. And this one's metallic. And that's why we love you.
because there's always a party in here, and that's exactly what we're doing. So uh, anyway, wide, wide eyes, wide eyes, and smile for the rest of this cocktail. And then, powdered sugar, add a tablespoon of ice cream, and add a tablespoon of ice cream to this cocktail over here. Not a lot of ice cream left in here, but we're gonna add a tablespoon to it. By a tablespoon, we're gonna go with about a spoonful. Now this is Oatly ice cream. It's incredibly easy to scoop out of the container, so I'm gonna add one spoonful and maybe like half another spoonful. We're crazy around here. Do we care about our dental health? No, we do not, because it's a Wednesday night, baby. Mmm. And we've got ice cream. Papa likes ice cream. Mm. I love that. Okay, so we got ice cream in the container, and then, and then, ice. We give it a little shake, and then we add soda water and syrup to taste. So, uh, that's how we're gonna do this. So, I'm going to... Let's see, let's flip that a little bit. I gotta be careful with this, actually. I broke my cocktail shaker. This little, this little part up on top, that doesn't like to stay on. Anyway, let's do that. Let's pop it on like this. This is my favorite part. One of my favorite parts. Do the shaker shake. I love this. This is my favorite part, and then I can do like a like a flip with it too. It's great. I'm overconfident. Let, let's do it again. Want to do it again? Let's do it again. Flip. They didn't request that. Who cares? Anyway, that and uh, yeah, there we go. Let's see how Anna's cocktail came out. Uh, actually, it's not quite done yet, so there's still more to be added to it. And this is this is actually not even a cocktail. This is a mocktail. This is a mocktail. By the way, later on, I post all, I, everything that I do here gets posted all back to YouTube eventually, and there's more information with that as well. I put, like, all the recipes Twitter. and stuff on Twitter, and I put it in my YouTube. It's, it's great. Do you do the YouTubes? Do you YouTubes too? Because if you do, do the YouTubes too, or the tweets and the stuff, you can find recipes on there. Because you know, I'll do that. Because this is like in real, I, I put the recipes up on screen, but that would take too much time to type out, and I'm not trying to waste anybody's time here. I'm not on any, like, rush to do pretty much anything. But you know what? You know what we're doing. Anna, I have a quick question for you. Do you have a glass preference for your mucktail, you summer strawberry kids? Actually, is it a tall glass? Uh, so how tall a glass would you like? Tallest glass? Gotcha. That's what I take the no response as. Love that. Love that. Ah, oh, she get the 40 bucks back that are in the food court card before you officially have to leave your university. Oh my god. Would they really? Would they really kick you out for 40 bucks? <laughs> That's incredible. That's terrible. Why would they do that? That's, that's dastardly. That's university for you. Or at least that's how I believe my university be. I, I like Drexel. Don't you, don't get me wrong, but my goodness, the amount of money that they... Uh, corporations and stuff like that. We don't like the, the corporations are weird, you know? We don't, we don't really pay into the corporation. It's just crazy. It's crazy. We don't pay into the corporations like that. It's not, it's not very good. Anyway, I'm going to pour this in the glass. I'm going to straighten it out, too, because there's a lot of strawberry bits in there. Um, oh, I have a specific camera angle just for this so um let's do that i had almost forgotten about it let's uh let's do that cocktail uh, whoa okay that didn't work <laughs> excuse me one moment <laughs> the camera's broken what did you do <laughs> i don't know dude i don't know dude that's pretty crazy do it again uh where's my where's my camera 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 oh camera do that now do this one hd Come on now. Where's my camera? Oh my goodness, my camera's dead. Hold on one second. I'm gonna replug I'm gonna unplug it and replug it. This is crazy. Everything's going wrong over here. Let's try this button. If I do this, unplug. When in doubt, unplug and replug. There we go. That'll hopefully work. Maybe that works. I don't really know. Let's let's uh try to make it work. Well now you get to look at this beautiful, beautiful background. Beautiful, beautiful background. Beautiful, beautiful people. We love you. There we go. Just had to unplug it and plug it back in again. That's how we fix all of our problems in tech world. Wait, anyway. I just realized. What did you realize? Your, um, your picture of your spirits and everything, it's also in the main screen. What's that? It's not completely there. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's cut off a little bit. If you want to see the actual, like, cocktail collection here, let me blast that for a moment. Let me blast that for a moment. It's over here. This is my cocktail collection. Or at least the pictures that I took of it that are sitting up on top of all my things over there. If something piques your fancy, tell me. I'll leave that up on screen just for a moment as we vibe check. Time's up. All right, cool. Let's go. Uh, let's go make Anna's cocktail finally. There's a lot of shit going on over here, and I. 
I was just about that as I move things out of the way. Anyway, cocktail into cocktail shaker. Mocktail into mocktail. Out of mocktail shaker. I'm gonna pour that out just like that. There's a lot of goo coming out of there. There's a lot of goo. You know what I should be doing? I should be doing this instead. Hold on a second. I have I have a strainer for this very purpose. It's a, not a very fun strainer, but it's a strainer nonetheless. So I'm gonna go with that. Perfect. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Pour it all in there as much as I possibly can. There's not actually a lot of juice in there. That's incredibly unfortunate hmm. well, let's see the only solids that i really put in there were the lime juice and stuff eh, this will be interesting i don't know why they put it in a tall glass it really doesn't make any sense to me shake it, shake it, shake it. come on there's got to be more there must be more there must be more come on i, I say i love how that's your drink yeah that's okay i have a better container for this too let's uh get all the goo get all the goo out of there get all the goo out of the strainer that's incredible Alrighty then. Well, that was actually not a lot of stuff in there. Actually, just kidding. I got you. So now what we do is we fill the rest back up with the the either the strawberry syrup or the club soda and whatnot. So that's that's kind of how we do that. And we do that but to I don't taste. Like so. Club soda. Well, okay. Then I'll just use more simple syrup. It is going to be decadently sweet for that very reason. I'm going to do. Let's do that a bit. That's quite a lot of simple syrup. We'll taste what test that. Do? We'll taste that. We'll taste that and see how it is. Give it a little swirl. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a lot. I'm taste testing it for you. Oh, that's incredibly sweet. I love that. I think, to be perfectly honest, I think if I use more, if I use more simple syrup and actually water it down with the club soda. Wait, were you supposed to use my oatly in there? What's that? Oatly? It's the ice cream, yeah. I did that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's ice cream in there. There's ice cream in that, baby. Just taste testing. Just taste testing. Yeah, I want to drink the whole damn thing. This is actually delicious. This is actually very, very delicious. Very, very delicious, there's delicious. The See, there's the issue. Is he what? Let me let me take the ice cream spoon, stir that up a little bit. It's it's thick. It's a thick boy. Thick 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 thick. So the next experiment is we add Midori afterwards, right? If you wanna. Actually that's that's delicious. I love that. Here you go. There's your drink, my lady. There's your drink, my lady. Drink, drink, drink my lady. Come. Come, come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. No, you don't? Okay, that's fine. That's totally cool. That's that's totally cool with me. I love you anyway. How's it tasting, baby? You like it? It's funny. It's funny, but is it strawberry -y? Strawberry enough for you? Needs a little more sweetness? Maybe not? It's like a strawberry milkshake, except I hate milk. Uh-oh! Did I fail again? That's okay. I want a half a shot of Midori in it. Half a shot of Midori in it? Yeah, <laughs> I, can do, I can do that for you. Want to have a shot of Midori in there? I'll do a half a shot. You said shot specifically, so... Oh, Use in the shot glass. Now we're gonna make this mocktail into a cocktail. You're welcome. Mmm, tasty. Half a shot, half a shot, half a shot. Look at how green that is. It's so very green. Take a, like at, take a look at how green this is. Take a look at how green that is. Oh, that is incredibly green. It Love tastes that. like sugar. Love that. Pour that in there. Mmm, tasty. Give that a give that a spin again. Ugh. Love strawberry milkshakes. I love strawberry milkshakes. Freaking love that. You got in trouble room for making one of your own? Are you kidding me? You work for them. You provide your time, your service, and whatnot to this corporation and whatnot. And they say, no, 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 sorry, you can't have a milkshake. Like, Rude. fine. Then you don't get this quality worker. You don't get none of this. You don't get none of this. All right. I'd okay. say it's mixed. It's actually quite quite brown now. Give it another Rude. Give it another try. I, I think it tastes even great. I think it tastes awesome. I think it tastes very good. I'm gonna put that silk back on the. I have to. I have to widen my screen. Widen my view a little bit. I've got the screen in front of me. That's where everything's running. That's how I knew things crashed. All of a sudden, when I did this, the image in front of me didn't do the same thing, and it was very disappointing. It was very sad. God. Oh, at least you get free coffee and donuts. But like, what if you don't like donuts and what if you don't like coffee? Hate then, coffee. That's terrible. Like Anna hates coffee. This I love coffee. Interesting. Ah, oh, those donuts gotta work. How do? What, how do you like it? What do you? What do you? What do you can I try it? Oh, yeah, you can try yeah, it. Yeah, I gotta taste test these it things. It really just makes it super... It's like a weird mix between a Jolly Rancher now and, like, mm. strawberry... That smells really cool, too. Really? Yeah, it's like strawberry... It's like a more sweet strawberry. Yeah, basically. It, like, intensifies the flavor, which is kind of weird. Wow. That's cool. It does kind of taste... You know what it kind of tastes like? Like, strawberry... Like, if strawberry had a soda. Strawberry soda! If strawberry had a soda, which it probably does... I think Fanta has a strawberry soda somewhere. It doesn't taste like that, but it does taste like... If I imagine strawberry soda tasting like something, 
It's great. Oh, there's one milkshake that you prefer over strawberry, but you won't tell me which one. It's a fruit that... Uh, probably not me. How would you know what fruits I hate? So I'm guessing it's... Alucari. That's so rude. Oh my god! Let's see, what is... What does Dalukari hate? What fruits? All of them? I don't know. Question mark? I don't know. I don't know. All of them! I don't know. Did you ever? Really Wait, I'm trying to think back. I cannot remember. Does she like fruit? What's up? Oh, I, I, so I don't know, I don't know. Well then, that was pretty cool. We made a mocktail, and it only took us, what, about an extra 45 minutes to get here, and, uh... Yeah, the little, yeah, but it's little not stuff really a mocktail lady. anymore at this point, so... Well, no, now it's not a mocktail. You added a little bit of cock to it, and now it's a mocktail. Cock meaning alcohol in this case, not anything else. That's Gross. disgusting. Why would I want a whole rooster in my... You know? This is terrible. I don't like it. No, I don't like it. Not. Anyway, uh, that was my Thousand and One Cocktail books. Um, okay, Thousand and One Cocktails book, not Thousand and One Cocktail books. I don't have that many cocktail books. It'd be pretty cool if I had a library of that size, but... I don't. So now I'm going to go to another book. This book. Actually, you know what? Uh, I've never actually made a drink from this book over here. This book is my shooter's book. Actually, you know what I should do? I, I'm going to I'm gonna clean up real quick. This is, this is nasty, nasty, disgusting over here. Um, yeah. You're well, delaying the inevitable. I'm delaying the inevitable. What do you mean? Your poor stream. Yeah. No uh, chicken blood. Ooh. No chicken blood? Oh, I don't even got no chicken blood. There are no live sacrifices here today except for, well. Whoa. There's no. one able body among us. I am in the middle of doing work, just on the other side of your stream. You're doing work right now? Yeah. How the hell are you focusing? Not very well. How the hell are you focusing? That's crazy. I'm just going to take, more specifically, my strainer over here and this cocktail glass. And I'm just going to give a little bit of a clean, because uh, I, I don't have a lot of these things. I wish I had more to shake with, but I got to do a little bit of housework. So do you want to figure things out while I shake it? Can I take care of it? Yeah, well, yeah, sure. I can do that. You want to do that? Yeah, sure. Why not? You, I appreciate your help so much, dearest. Yeah. You, give me, give don't me. Don't touch me. No, okay, okay. Don't touch me, Anna, is helping me clean up the cocktail thing so we can... Move on with our sorrowful existence. So, uh, uh, shooter book. Shooter book, shooter book, shooter book. Uh, let's move that there. I got knife. I got mm, Scooby thing. And I'm gonna move this over here. Yeah, that's better. Get that off the table. There we go. Oh, almost, almost. Just readjusting things. I'll do that. And it's great and exciting and it's wonderful. So, uh, shooter book. This book is a book on different types of shots and whatnot. I um I don't think I've ever actually made anything from this because I'm just not a shots type of you can person. Just fill it with like cranberry juice or something. Fill what with cranberry juice? A shot. A shot with cranberry juice? Yeah. But, but where's the fun in that? It's more fun for Anna. Anna likes cranberry juice. Oh my god! I just noticed something. I left my cosmic piss over here. Oh my god. I left my other cocktail. You called it cosmic piss. Cosmic piss. Or at least that's what I'm calling it because it uh it reminds me of. Yeah, urinal cakes. We discussed this. Why do you need to bring it back? Because it reminds me of urinal cakes, and I'm, I'm totally into that. Alrighty then. So, 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 so. Hmm. There's just a lot of stuff in this. I there's probably some interesting uh, drink names in here too, and uh, I'm looking forward to actually seeing what's in here. I feel like anything you can think of. Let, let's get a let's get a letter of the alphabet. Any letter of the alphabet. There's probably something in here somewhere. In the meanwhile. Let's see what else we get. Let's see. I'm going to pull letter from the ether. Um, S. S is a letter. Oh, actually, I landed on M, and I'm cool with that. Melon Snowball. That sounds good. That sounds pretty cool. Lemon Snowball. It uses a dash of cream. That sounds it. But, but I do, I've done melon things already. We did, we did a melon thing already. I want something different. My goal is to be able to pull as many liquor bottles off that shelf tonight as possible. So we're I doing some... Well, I have my own goals that I made up inside of my head. P! P! The letter P! This episode brought to you by the letter P, which... I, I have forgotten where that is in the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. P is always after the M, N, O, P. Uh-huh, uh -huh. L, M, N, O, P. Yeah, I gotcha. Oh, for some reason. D, 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 I gotcha. Oh, it's just... Uh, L. I found L. M. More M's. Um, oh, 
There we go. What's in here? We've got the Panama Jack uses a liquor called Yukon Jack, which I don't have any of, so we're skipping that one. Panama Red uses a gold tequila, which I don't have any of, so I won't do that at a disrespect. Pancho Villa uses creme de almond, which is cream of almonds. I don't have any of that either. The Panther calls for peach brandy. Don't got none of that. This is how I usually do things. I kind of just go down the list and I'm like, can I make that? Can I make that? Can I make that? No? Okay, whatever. The Panty Burner uses Di Serono Amaretto, Kahlua, and Frangelico. I have no Frangelico, but I have something even better. I have a praline liqueur, which takes the place of hazelnut pretty well. So, uh, Very good. I like that. It says stir with ice and strain, but it's a shot. Yeah, let's do that. Amaretto, Kalua, and Frangelico. 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 Wait, I'm going for, um, I thought you just said you were getting the coupon. Yeah, no, I don't have I don't have Frangelico, so I'm going with the praline. Oh. Going with the praline, and I need Kalua. I don't like Kalua as a coffee liqueur, to be perfectly honest. It's way too sweet for me. But uh, it's all I got. Uh, usually I would opt for a coffee liqueur called Mr. Black, but nowhere in Pennsylvania, nowhere in Philadelphia sells Mr. Black liqueur. So I was planning on getting some uh, later on, but you know? Ugh. Is Yukon Jack like, like, is that liquor? Like, apple something? Interesting. Is it Apple Jack? I actually have Apple Jack. Ooh, you know what? Let's ask Google. Let's ask Google. What is Yukon Jack? According to Wikipedia, Yukon Jack is a Canadian honey-based liqueur honey. made Canadian whiskey and honey, advertised honey, honey. as the black sheep of Canadian liquors. Okay. That's a honey liqueur. I do not have honey liqueur. So, well, uh, that's where we're going. Sounds fun. Sounds cool. <laughs> the liquor, not the horse and or cereal. Yukon Jack is cereal, too? Hmm. Uma musume. Panty burner. That's what we're making here. And it's equal parts... Amaretto, Kahlua, and Frangelico. I have no Frangelico. I'm opting for pra praline liqueur that I got from South Carolina. Beautiful. I need a little bit of ice, and I need my stirring glass. So, uh, I'm gonna go get that. I'm gonna go get that stirring glass. This is a fun, fun time. Fun, fun time in cocktails. Fun, fun time in cocktails. I feel like you've spent half of this stream off of the stream. Well, yeah. Maybe. I don't think so. I think I spent most of my time, maybe this particular segment of the stream. <laughs> what? Panty burner, you mean Taco Bell? Maybe. It certainly may seem that way. And it says, uh, uh, uh it says one third measures of stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do that. And it says to stir it. So I need one third. Where is the one third mark on this thing? I thought there was a one third mark on this thing. There's a quarter. There's a half. Maybe that's the half. I haven't been reading this wrong the whole time. I really wish I knew. Um, I'm just going to eyeball it from an actual shot glass. So let's uh, clean that out a little bit and uh, just go from there. First, we got to do Amaretto. Amaretto, Amaretto, Amaretto. Di Serono specifically. It's the only Amaretto I've ever had and the only Amaretto that I ever plan on having. Because uh, that's, that's just kind of the Amaretto that I have in my house. So third... There we go. That's one third. These are all just shots here. These are all just shots. So, uh, it's a shooter book. It's probably the one big shot that I'll actually wind up taking because, I mean, it's it's a shooter book. It's just, you get the idea. Kahlua. Kahlua is the coffee liqueur. It's very, very sweet, and some people really like that. I, I, it's, I could use more coffee flavor, to be perfectly honest. I'd like a little more coffee with my coffee liqueur. As opposed to sweetness and sugar and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. It's nice, it's exciting, I like it, but not all at once. Oh, goodness, that was a very, very sugary. That's the thing, with a lot of these liqueurs, the sugar kind of crystallizes up on top, so when you open them, it all just comes crumbling down. I can't wait to clean that up later, because I will, because I'm a good boy, and I clean up after my messes, usually. And that's my, in place of the Frangelico, we've got... Praline liqueur. Mama loves Kahlua. Cool. My mother loves te te tequila. And uh, she likes Kahlua, uh, or sorry, Patron, uh, the XO. So that's coffee tequila. 
Or tequila coffee. Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan is spiced rum. Yeah, that's mommy's. That's your mom's favorite. Nice, nice, nice. And then, um, yeah, for that, for this, we're just gonna just gonna give it a stir. So uh, let's see how stirring looks. I'm gonna move these over here such that they're not blocking things too crazily. There we go. This shot gets stirred. I'm just gonna stir it just like that until it's nice and chilled. I'm gonna stir that till it's nice and chilled, nice and chilled, nice and chilled. And I'm gonna find myself a nice shot glass to pour that into. The slightly larger one from the front? What, this one here? No. What, what are you talking about? Front. Here? In front of your stuff. What are you talking about? No. Where did I put the glasses? That's a giant shot glass. I'm not doing that. This is literally just a shot. This is there's not a lot in here. No. Ugh. And your mom's a wine mom. That's pretty that's pretty cool. Do it their own. Do it their own. And it also kinda of wine face. Ooh. That's cool. I took a wine class too, which was pretty uh pretty enticing. It was pretty cool. I bought a bunch of bought a bunch of wine for class. It was pretty cool. I liked it. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pour that into the the glass without all the ice. Nice and cold now. Do 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 do. This shot glass is a little bit bigger than most, so I think I measured a little much. But it's okay. It all works out. I like that. This is my shot. This is my shot glass right there. Mmm, tasty, tasty, tasty. Oh, tales from the liquor store, you say? Aha. Uh -huh. Every night, the Latino guys who got off work at like 9 would come in at like 9.30 and buy Patron. Tequila! Um, yeah, so this is the, um, what was it? The Panty Destroyer or something like that? The Panty Obliterator? What was it called again? I don't know, something about panties? Panty, 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 panty. Panty burner! It burns your panties. <laughs> Not my panties, your panties, or perhaps my panties. Am I wearing panties? Subscribe to my OnlyFans. That is the last time I'm saying that. It's got the amaretto in it, it's got the Kahlua in it, it's got eh, pralines in it this time. Stir with ice, give it a strain. Let's see how that tastes. Let's see how that smells. Ooh. It smells heavily of amaretto, which is like an almond-based liqueur thing. It's, a, it's an Italian liqueur that kind of smells like almonds to me. Like, if you've ever had... If you've ever had one of those, I want to say Italian cookies, but I don't exactly know what I'm talking about. But uh, I've had an Italian cookie before, and that Italian cookie kind of tasted like it was made with amaretto. If you've ever had amaretto cake, probably tastes like that, because it uses amaretto. It's almondy. It's tasty. And it smells like that. It really doesn't smell like anything else. So, um, yeah. I'll just see what that tastes like. And down the hatch. It's super, super sweet. It is insanely sweet. So, Amaretto itself is incredibly sweet itself. So is Kahlua, and so is the Praline Liqueur. It actually tastes, it, it smells a lot like Amaretto, but it really doesn't taste a lot like Amaretto. What I taste on my tongue right now is the Kahlua coffee kind of lingering in the back. Um, but what I, got, what I got hit with first is that Praline Liqueur. And if you've never had Praline before, Pralines are made from like pecans and a bunch of sugar and whatnot. So it tastes extremely pecan-y. I'd say the, on the nose, it's the Amaretto. First, it's the Praline. And then last, it's the coffee. And honestly, the Praline kind of takes back over. Because I don't really taste much coffee anymore. It's uh, not too bad. <laughs> and they call Dalukari the panty destroyer because it causes severe vaginal discharge. Ouch! Ha! <laughs> nice. Diarrhea joke. Disgusting. You have a praline ice cream. Oh, that sounds delicious. That sounds absolutely delectable. I love the praline stuff. I remember it was something... There was actually a drink in one of my books. It was actually a drink in one of my books that called specifically for um, praline liqueur. What are you saying? Yeah, it's a coffee-based one. It's called the New Orleans something or other. I, I found it later. I tried all this time to try to find where it was in this book that I saw Praline Liqueur. I could not find it. I could not find it at all. I found it again like a, about a month ago. The drink in particular is the... Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I thought it was New Orleans something. Really? Oh, maybe it's not New Orleans. Maybe it's just Orleans. Orlin? Orlin, Orlin, Orlin down the road again. Orlin down the road again. Where are you in this book? I know it's in here. Orlin, Orlean, Orleana, Orleana. All right. I apparently lost it again. 
Oh well. It happens sometimes. But it called for Praline liqueur. And I was like, it must exist. And we found it. We found it down in South Carolina. So I bought a bottle of it, brought it back. Everybody, my mother loved it. My fiance's family loved it. My fiance loved it. And I was like, we should get more of this. And so a mutual friend of ours, her mother, bought like five bottles. Just like, have it amongst yourselves. It's great. It's great. Oh, praline ice cream is great. Praline, praline P-R-A-L-I-N-E. It's pra and then line. Okay. Why? What were you spelling it as? I love pra <laughs> praline. Praline. <laughs> a praline is a pecan type of dessert. They essentially take pecans and sugar, caramelize it, and they kind of make this like pecan toffee like thing. It's delicious. It like melts on the tongue. It's great. If you if you ever find yourself in, I don't know the south. Ask for pralines. If you ever find pralines, I'd recommend giving it a try. It is very, 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 very tasty. Very, 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 very tasty. I love it. I love it indeed. Real diamond in the row hug moment. Did you see that? Diamond in the row hug. That's the pillow. Diamond in the row hug. Get it? It's funny. It's funny. because uh, uh, It's so great, actually. Let me tell you a story about my diamond in the row hug. Don't pillow. tell them about that. This no. is my diamond. You can't really see in the, because the camera's being a little weird with the, the light and whatnot, but this is my diamond in the row hug pillow. It was given to me by my fiance for Christmas, and it was a very, very lovely Christmas present. I opened it up, and I was like, oh, row hug. That's funny, because, like, she's making fun of herself and her dyslexia you and can't smell. You asked what a row hug was. And then I texted her and asked her what a row hug was, and she's like, what do you mean? And I sent her a picture of the pillow, and she's like, Oh my god, I misspelled it. I started crying because I showed my mom. <laughs> it's great. And I she told was her... like, yeah, it's good. And then I packed it up and you were like, what's a row hug? And I'm like, what do you mean? What's a row It's hug? beautiful. I love the thing. It's so, it's so characteristic of Anna herself. And it just, it's so lovely. It, like, it, to me, it's so wholesome. She wanted to fix it. I was like, no, no, it's my row hug. It's my row hug. I want the row hug. It, it was great. I, it's forget, so forget bad. It. Why would you tell people about that? I'm super freaking proud of it, dude. I am not proud of my undiagnosed dyslexia. That's okay. I'm proud of it. I think it looks beautiful, and I think it has a lot of character to it. Um, so we did that. We did a shooter, and I took a shot on camera. Oh, woof, whoop de doo Shots exist. What about another book? Something more crazy, even. This is another book that I have. It's a tiki book. Tiki cocktails are like a kind of... It's a particular style of cocktail that really has nothing to do with like tiki culture itself it completely evolved kind of on its own but from some guy named don the beachcomber and by the way the only reason i know any of this history is because there's a guy on youtube that i watch and he just did an episode on this so i'm kind of recent on my history but yeah don the beachcomber he did tiki stuff he kind of made this thing popular and this is a whole book of tiki cocktails that i picked up down in Disney world don the beachcomber that's correct don the beachcomber mr don himself he combs beaches, apparently. It's time to work that body. It's time to do line jumps. Anna likes to have fun with me on stream sometimes, so I'm going to do line jumps. Uh, I don't have a lot of space over here, but if I move these out of the way, don't move these bottles. Me. If I move these bottles, you can hear the clinking. You can hear it. You can hear it. Uh, Debbie, I'm sorry, Debbie. Debbie lives downstairs below us. I feel so sorry for Debbie. I'm so sorry, Debbie. Anyway, line jumps. Okay. And now, I'm going to continue with this cocktail book while I do line jumps. Back and forth. Tiki drinks. They use a lot of very interesting ingredients. They're very rummy. Rummy drinks, rummy drinks, rummy drinks indeed. I have a lot of different types of rum. I don't know how I came across this many rums, but I do have a lot of rum. You want Bacardi? I got it. You want Mount Gay? I got that. You want something from Barbados? It's Mount Gay. I got you. Uh, I got you good. And some nice rums too, as well as some Goslings. They're the dark ones. Dark rums. Anyway, that's enough line jumps. That was not that many. That was exactly enough line jumps. I don't know what you're talking about. I counted in my head. 20? That was not 20. That was definitely 20 on both sides, I'm telling you. No. I'm telling you. Does it start with H and end with to drink? Yeah, it is. You're totally right. It's Greg from How to Drink. He's an awesome guy. I love Greg. I love Greg. He's such a good guy. Dude, I got so back into cocktails when I started watching his series on YouTube. I would definitely recommend it. If you are into cocktails, watch Greg from HTD. He's hilarious. That's great. I love him. Uh, every time you saw Mount Gay at work, you were like, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> he is at NJ, and he shops at Whole Foods, so that narrows down where his location is. There's like three Whole Foods in all of New Jersey. Exactly, so we know where he is. Oh, I don't know where he is. Not Wait, no, know. I'm actually going to look this No, up. he's a Jersey kind of guy. He's a Jersey kind of guy. He's, I love him. I love him. Yeah. 
Mount Gay's funny. What are the, some other uh, funny names out there? Uh, there's a tequila called Horny Toes. Horny Toes? Horny Toes. It's, it's funny. Or um, what's another one? Oh, the gin. Beef Eater. Like, the hell is a beef eater? I don't know, but it sure as hell it sounds pretty funny. So, uh, I like that. I like that. So, there's, a, there's many, many drinks in here. I don't think I can make any of them, but I'm sure as hell gonna give it a, uh, give it a try. Sorry, basically, you either have to be close to here in Philly or closer to New York City. He's probably closer to New York, if I had to guess. Yeah. And there's one random one, like, right above Trenton. You yourself are a beef eater? You like cheeseburgers now, don't you? I like cheeseburgers too. Just call me a beef eater anytime. There's a lot of different types of things in here. Many of them I can't make. But I can go with a classic. A dark and stormy is technically a tiki drink. And they actually add a little bit more to this. This is not this is not the Gosling's trademark dark and stormy, which would call for Gosling's ginger beer and Gosling's black seal rum. This actually calls for, in addition to the black seal rum, lemon juice, lime juice. And then whatever ginger beer that you happen to have there. Goodness. I love beef too. I don't need a lot of beef anymore. Filet mignon is just, ooh, so tasty, tasty. But, uh, you know, I kind of, I've been trying to get into chicken. Trying to, trying to, like, lay off the, the pounds and whatnot. Beef. A lot of red meat. It affects the throat. It affects no, the esophagus. I'm not too into it all the time. So You're not into beef? Yeah. Well, that's okay. I'm into beef. My mom's big into Where's the beef? They ask. Where's the beef? You make a lot of chicken meals. Uh, allspice dram. I don't have allspice dram, unfortunately. What else have we got in here? There was an eastern sour, which calls for allspice dram. I don't have allspice dram. The fog cutter. I have rum. I have bourbon. I have gin. I have orange juice. I have pineapple juice. I have lime juice. I do not have orgeau, unfortunately. So I and I also don't have honey syrup. But that's not very. That's not very crazy. The Happy Buddha uses white rum and guava nectar. I have no guavas nor guava nectar. It'd be cool if one of these drinks uses the kiwi. The Jungle Bird uses Campari, Jamaican rum, lime juice, Cointreau, Orgeau, spice simple syrup. I don't have Cointreau, but I could use tri uh, like triple sec in place of that. Uh, but I also still don't have Orgeau. Orgeau, by the way, is a particular concoction made from almonds in particular. Oh, I love all this stuff. Got plenty of talk of sandwiches and chickens in the chat down there and unfortunately no i don't have hemp infused liqueur but you know what funny story i actually went to the store the other day and bought myself some body wash and it's hemp seed oil body wash and i smell wonderful it's great i was actually thinking about that the other day has anybody done a hemp seed liqueur like they probably have dr Furman has hemp seed it. like they do hemp drinks. seed stuff really yeah I need to get some hemp seed ah it's oh. crazy Mai Tai uses rum. Rum agricole. I have no rum agricole, unfortunately. Great. The missionaries down for. Oh my god. Greg literally just did these drinks the other day. It's so crazy. They use Demerara rum. I do not have a Demerara rum, unfortunately. But it does use pineapple juice, lime juice, honey syrup, and fresh mint leaves. I don't I don't have the Demerara rum. Do you know there's a Hamburg or honey syrup. in Germantown? Yes, I know there's a Hamburg. Oh, I didn't know that. Hamburg is a place in Germany. I knew that. I knew that. Did you not know that? You didn't know that? That's okay. We all have to learn sometime. And now you know there is a Hamburg in Germany. Morning. The painkiller uses Pusser's rum and cream of coconut. I don't have cream of coconut. That's the thing. Some of these books, like this one and my Alice in Wonderland cocktail book, use a lot of really specific or really weird ingredients. And I have to go out of my way to make these. So this was more impromptu. This is more what I would do at any other night in the day, just kind of sit down, flip through my books, like, oh, do I have stuff? Okay. Yeah, exactly. Anna's making random comments and whatnot. You think that she's the one who's getting drunk. Not her, not this time. Rum Agricole. I don't have Rum Agricole. The Rum Barrel uses the... Oh, goodness. Not having, not having cream of coconut for pina coladas. I know, right? Shame on me. I should have cream of coconut. Like, it's not difficult to keep. Rum Barrel uses rum, lime juice, orange juice, pineapple juice, passion fruit puree. Don't have passion fruit. Gotta go to the next page. The Zombie uses rum, rum, more rum, lime, passion fruit puree. Sad. Moving on to the next one. Need more passion fruit stuff. Needs more passion fruit. It's funny. You went to the liquor store. You're like, do I have everything? Can I make every drink? And I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. No, I don't have everything to make drinks with. Why would you think that I said that? You did say that. I did not say that. You I said don't I have, have the most common things, therefore I don't need anything else for right now. 
That's not true at all. I don't, I completely, I don't believe that. Rum, lime juice, pineapple syrup, pineapple daiquiri. That's so easy to do. I also don't have pineapple syrup, so I can't do that either. What the heck? <laughs> I can't do a lot of these things. I never said that I have everything. There's a lot of syrups that you have to prepare ahead of time, and I don't have half these. And plus, the syrups don't keep very well for very long either, because the syrups is basically all just sugar. There's nothing, there's no alcohol in there to kill off all the microbes. Planters Punch uses also honey syrup and pineapple syrup. Oh, goodness. Rum Crusta. You know what? We can do that. It calls for Cointreau. I do not have Cointreau, which is a type of orangey liqueur, but I've got other things that are orangey. And uh, yeah, I'd like to try that. So I'm going to try the Rum Crusta. And there's a description in this book for it too, so I'll read it aloud. A crusta is a very old-fashioned style of cocktail. One is said to have been invented in New Orleans in the mid-1900s. The crusta is distinctive because it has a generously sugared rum, uh, generously sugared rim, and is garnished with a very, very large lemon twist. The original version featured brandy, but this rum variation is even more delicious because rum pairs well with fresh lemon juice. This drink isn't particularly sweet because you get a taste of sugar every single time you put your lips on the glass, so skip the straw when you go to serve it. We don't need it. We don't need it. It says skip the straw. That's incredible. I love I love straws. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and grab I'm gonna grab something orangey. I'm gonna grab a rum. It says an aged rum. I think I have something that's aged. I do. Uh, Maris. It also uses maraschino liqueur. Love maraschino liqueur. It's cherry e ish kinda. Not really. Anyway, and I need lemon juice, and I got lemons over here. So I'm gonna go grab that. Need me some maraschino. Gonna grab a like, sour maraschino first. Why? That's the tall one. How do you know? Because it's taller than every other bottle that I have. Oh, I love it when Anna banters me. Great. I love this. The bickering back and forth is the best thing. I'm gonna go with, I don't know if this one's particularly aged, but it's the thing that seems to be the most aged out of anything else that I have. And something orange. So I'm gonna go with triple sec, because honestly, that's the only thing orangey that I have. Aside from blue curacao, but I don't know, should we make it blue? I you know what, let's make it blue. We're gonna make it blue. We're gonna make it blue over here. But it's an orange drink, why would it be blue? But it's an orange drink, well, because the blue orange. Blue curacao is made from the blue orange, obviously. From the island of curacao, obviously. That's what I go with. This one is the rum crust. It says combine all ingredients in a shaker and fill with ice cubes, naturally. Shake vigorously. So cold. Strain the contents of the shaker in a small wine glass or rocks glass that is rimmed with sugar beforehand. So I am actually also going to get, let's see, where's my, where's my green glass? I have my green glass. I'm going to use this and I'm going to get a little thing to rim sugar with. And I will be back in a moment because I need more sugar. Need some sugar. Need some sugar, need some sugar, I got some sugar, now I need something to dip it in. How about a tiny little plate? Tiny little plate? Tiny little plate, tiny little plate, tiny little plate, tiny little plate. Please excuse the sounds of clinking plates. It happens sometimes. You gonna waste all my sugar? No, but I, why would I waste all your sugar? I don't know, but I like eating my sugar, so. Sugar's fine. Just making sure. Sugar is delectable. Yeah, I think I'm you're done with trying to do work. <laughs> I was going to say, how are you still working on things? How are you still working on things? It's crazy that you're still focused on anything right now. Well, actually, I should probably prep tomorrow. I can't even keep focus. <laughs> well, I mean, I can. And so I, I got my, my Hulk smash drink, my little ogre piss over here, atomic nuclear waste, whatever. Uh, it's gone because I drank it off camera. Mm, tasty. And I'm going to rim because this seems like the perfect size glass for the... Um, for this particular libation. Basically what I'm going to do first is I'm going to rim the glass with sugar. And this is how I'm going to do that. I'm going to use some simple syrup, which I have over here still on the other side of the table. And I'm going to put some sugar on the bottom of this thing. Technically I could use water, but I think syrup is going to be even better in this case. So uh, I'll switch the camera view real quick to go over here. I'm going to put some sugar on the bottom of this little, you know, this little plate here. I'm just going to basically coat the bottom with sugar. Gotta give that a little spread out there. Is that a proper size for the glass? That's gonna be perfect. Now I'm gonna do, uh, I need my simple syrup. Where's my simple syrup? There you are, right over here. I'm going to take that simple syrup. I'm just gonna kind of dab it. Dab it on my finger a little bit. Just, uh, just enough to rim 
the side of this glass all the way around with that syrup. That syrup is going to provide something for this, the sugar to stick onto. I'm going to rim that glass with all of that sugar just to, to the top of it. It's going to be great. It's going to be great and tasty. Great, tasty, and very sweet. Huh. Dalukari is drunk? My goodness, how are you drunker than I am right now? There's no way! There's no way! And then we're just gonna dip that into here and give it a little spritz around like that, and it's gonna kinda coat the glass in sugar. The side of that glass is just frosted enough with a little bit of sugar. You're an incredible lightweight. I wish I could say the same about myself. That's the thing. I'm a bit of a heavyweight over here despite for my size, so that both has its goods and it has its bads. Anyway, I don't need no sugar no more. I don't need no sugar no more. And I gotta combine everything in a shaker. So I'm gonna combine everything in a shaker. I'm gonna use a tiny shaker this time, and I need some ice in it, obviously. I, I'm sorry that I keep having to go off screen for ice. I apparently spend most, if not all, of my time off screen. I thought my trips were rather small, but apparently the peanut gallery says otherwise, so that's what we're gonna go with. Peanut gallery keeps saying, oh, you're on the screen too much. You're like, you know what? You're probably right. This one also gets garnished with a really, really heftily long, um, like, heftily long lemon twist and whatnot. So I'm gonna try to do the biggest lemon twist ever! My body's like 70% liver. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Wouldn't that be funny? So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give this lemon a, as long a twist as I can possibly do from it. And hopefully not cut myself, because this is, this is a very, this is a tough lemon. This lemon's not being easy on me. Not being easy on me. I'm gonna try to do the, the longest lemon twist ever while saying the longest yeah boy ever. Yeah boy. That's the longest yeah boy ever. That's all we're getting. I'm still going with this. I'm still a going. I'm still going. Did you know that every villain is lemons? I, I didn't know till recently. Only after seeing the um the evil itself was I able to see how truly vi lemon villains actually are. Well, you know what? That's a pretty good lemon twist. I I'd say that is the best damn twi uh, switch. Twist? Twist. It's the best damn twist I think I've ever done. That is very long. Oh my god. That's long. Could this be it? Could this be it? Oh my god, it keeps going! Holy cow, it just keeps on going! This twist is getting longer and longer and longer! That is one hell of a twist there, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, can he make it to the bottom? Can he make it to the bottom? I actually have to wrap my finger all the way around it. And that's our twist. Oh my god, that's one hell of a twist. <laughs> wow! An M. Night Shyamalan lemon twist! You have like a tiny little glass for that big ass thing? Yes. It's a monstrous. It's a monstrous lemon. The monstrous lemon twist. Does it say monstrous lemon twist? It says very, very large lemon twist. So that's my very, very large lemon twist. Before I cut my lemon, I'm just gonna, I don't know, do something with that. Just gonna like, flip it in the, you know what? Uh, hold on. There we go. I'm gonna put that in the glass. I'm just gonna just throw it right in there. Oh yeah. Throw it right on in there. A little bit of twirl. A little bit of twirl. That's one hell of a lemon twist. Look at that. One hell of a lemon twist. Oh my goodness. No, I'm in not Shyamalan twist would taste really exciting at first and then turn incredibly sour. Well, we could do that. Lemon, just throw lemon juice in there. It's like, ah, you thought there was a rum drink? I replaced your rum with more lemon juice. Now there's, to there's so much lemon juice. It's crazy. Anyway, uh, now I'm going to cut this lemon. Cut this limon. This limon must be cut because I need to get the lemon juice from it. I need a half an ounce of lemon juice. So I'm going to cut this lemon in half and see what happens. Let's see what happens with that. Alrighty then. Open that back up. Ooh, I got a Snapchat from somebody. Somebody likes me. Or I have Glenny for Lemon Twist. Oh, Glenny boy. Glenny boy. Twitch.tv slash Lycos underscore lore wants you as a viewer. Why? Because I mean, he's, he's awesome. He's a really cool guy. I need half an ounce of lemon juice. Wow, this, this is a juicy lemon. Wow. 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 Not even an entire squeeze. And we've already got all the juice I could have possibly asked for. That is one hell of a juice. I'm just one hell of a lemon. Oh, goodness, it's great. On Glenn's stream, uh, g Glemon? Glemon. Glemony snicket. Anyway, I gotta put this in the glass. I got half an ounce of lemon juice in my cocktail shaker. I also need, oh, I got some stuff on my book over here. Let me just, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me blot that up. Ooh, 
Ooh, lemon. Lemon juice on the page. Lemon juice on the page. Everybody, somebody call 911. Shot it by a button on the dance floor. And in place of Cointreau, it's orangey. I am going to use blue curacao instead because I'm going to make the drink blue. It's funny because you think it tastes like blue, but no, it tastes like orange. Ha! No, it's it's not it's not funny even when I say it. Yeah, I need a half an ounce of that. So I'll do a half an ounce of that. Half an ounce of the blue. Oh baby. Oh, that's blue, all right. Ooh, there it goes. There it goes. Yo, listen up. Here's a story about a little guy who lived in a blue world. And all day and all night and everything he sees is just Luxardo, Maraschino, liqueur in the shot glass. Quarter of an ounce of that, put it in the shaker. Then you're gonna add some rum. It's aged, maybe, probably. Maraschino liqueur. It's like, um, it's like, I want to say it's cherry-y, but it's really not. Not a lot. It's kind of cherry and nutty. It's different. I like it. I remember the first time I got this was... Like, I mixed it with, like, Coca-Cola or something. It was just different. Just very, very different. Indescribable. And then we topped it off with two ounces of aged rum. I don't think I actually have an aged rum in my collection, so I'm trying to do it justice by getting this, um, this Plantation Three Star Rum, which is always recommended, from what I've been told. So, uh, I'm gonna go with it. It's the best rum. I, I think this is the best rum I got, so. It's the best rum I got for the best rum cocktail. The Rum Crusta. I'm gonna fill up two, two full ounces of that into my cocktail shaker. There we go, just like that. And then we're gonna shake a shake a shake a till we just can't shake it no more. Shake it no more. Shake it. Put that back up on top. Gonna do a shake Gonna do a shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a shake till I just can't shake it no more. Shake on the wall, shake up. Awesome. And that gets, I guess, strained out, right? Well, this thing's got a built-in strainer, actually, so it works out for me. And I was gonna pour that in, pour that in. There we go. It's gonna be blue. It's gonna be blue, 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 blue. It's blue on yellow. Actually kind of looks green from my angle. Pretty cool. Not too bad. And this is a blue rum cruster. Because instead of Quantro. Which probably would have been the best way to go. And I know Cointreau isn't just orange. It's a orange type liqueur. And, you know, I wish I wish I had that. I could have picked it up the other day, but I didn't. So, so what we get right now. It's like Milk Luke Skywalker. It's like the blue drink from the Star Wars. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful blue rum crusta. With hopefully as much justice as I can do for something like that. I, it really should have been with better ingredients. But you work with what you got. And you adjust later. That's, that's what I like to do. Let's give it a smell. It smells very... It's lemony. Probably because there's a giant freaking lemon twist coming out of the top of there. Look at that. Like, ah, I'm gonna lemon your face up. I'm gonna erode your cavities. I'm gonna... I'm gonna cause your body to reflux. Yeah, you will. But it smells really lemony because of that lemon peel on there. It's probably gonna taste incredibly sweet because of that sugar rind on the outside. But let's try Okay, incredibly rum forward, first off. After that, immediately after the rum comes through, you can start tasting the maraschino. It's just, it's, it's a unique flavor. Like, you wouldn't, it's kind of, like, nutty-ish. I get a lot more of the nuttiness qualities in maraschino in this particular drink. And, uh, the orange kind of comes after the fact. The orange comes way after the fact, to be honest. I don't really get a lot of that lemon juice at all. I think it's the... Well, actually, yeah. On the back... In the back of the mouth, like, where your sal salivatory glands are, you can feel the lemon back there because it's making me salivate, like, profusely. It's a lot of salivation action going on over here. Like, salivation up the wazoo. My mouth is just like, hmm, can I have some more of that? And I'm like, yeah, you can have some more of that if you'd like. Sure. No problem. Yeah. I like that. But, yeah, it's it's a very... It's a very rummy drink. It's very... Very nice. I very much enjoy that. Yeah, the maraschino gives a very interesting taste to that. Not bad. Not bad at all. It just adds complexity. It's not as simple as a drink as you think. One sip is not going to be enough for you. You got to go in for that second one. You'll find something new. Then you'll go in for that third one and you'll find something even newer than that. And you're like, wow, that's 
got some complexity to it. I like that. That is really, really cool. That is really, really, really cool. God, oh, I like that. That is really cool. What I usually do wind up, uh, wind up doing after the fact is I'll go back through these videos and whatnot, and I'll add these recipes to my recipe book, and I'll add my personal notes of whatever I said in the video to them. I've told myself I'm going to do that, but I haven't actually done that once. Uh, there's at least, let's see, by this point, probably 11 drinks uh, in the queue that needs to be put into my recipe book because I've forgotten about, like, every single one of them. I used to do, like, the only streams that I've done with cocktails before have been during my Valhalla streams. Valhalla, by the way, is a cyberpunk bartending action game, which is awesome. It is such an awesome game. I recommend it to anybody and everybody. It kind of kind of opened my eyes to a lot of things and had a big impact on especially my life within the past year or so. It's such a good game. It's such a good game. And I got it off of such good recommendation, by the way. And so, yeah, I really love that game. And I played through it twice. And I'll probably play through it a third time because I like it so much. I like the game a lot. It's a very good game. I recommend it. Apparently, they were coming out with a second one, too. Nirvana. But that got indefinitely delayed because of COVID stuff and whatnot. And I totally get that. I wouldn't want them to... I, I wouldn't want them to release, like, a half-assed game because that would do... I think that would do a lot of damage to their reputation. And it's such. A, it was such a great game the first time. I'd love to see them do it justice and maybe even double maybe even better the next time around like i'm really looking forward to it it's gonna be great and yeah it was you who recommended it to me dalukare and i can't thank you enough for that recommendation it like it was awesome i love that game it's such a good game love that game okay okay so another cocktail has been made how many cocktails have we made so so far um we made the cement burner or cement mix we made the cement mixer after which we made cosmic blast or whatever it was called after which we made the sunshine strawberry whatever thing that we added midori to which then made it a cocktail then we had the panty burner which was the shot that i took and this one is the rum crusta so that's technically five so far we got five cocktails so far tonight and i'm not done i'm not out of steam just yet there's still more cocktails to be made so let's let's do some more cocktails that's exactly what we're here just chatting just chatting just cocktails just chatting just cocktails. That's what we do around here. Good vibes. Good vibes all the time. <laughs> By the way, have you noticed there's party hats all around the video? There's one. Can you find the other six? I don't know. If you've been following along. That does not don't let me pressure you. And no, it does not it, it does not include this one and it doesn't include the little the little the little bowler hat. Look at how cute that is. Look at how cute that is. That's so cute. I added that onto the other one. It was great. It was great. I love that. Uh, I call the milkshakes party burner from now on because of the lactose intolerance. Oh my god. The patty burner. Oh my goodness. That's... Oof. Oof. Oh my gosh. Let's see. What book haven't I touched yet? I haven't touched the Alice in Wonderland book. This... That is not going to have anything. I don't think I'm going to be able to make any drink in this book. It calls very specifically for very odd ingredients that you would not be able to come across. However, most of them are simple syrups, aren't they? Or I'll give them a shot. Vodkas. Yeah, there's some weird vodkas. There's a lot of different, like, uh, uh, cordials and liqueurs and whatnot in there. So, I mean, I'm going to go through it and see if I can find something, but I don't think I will. We'll see. I'm, uh, I'm going to sit down for this one because uh, well, this might be a bit of a journey. We're going down the rabbit hole in this one. In a book called. Yeah, I'm sitting down now. Look at that. In a book called Drink Me. Curious Cocktails from Wonderland by Nick Perry and Paul Rosser. Now we be begin the uh, the guided reading part of this stream, I guess. Whatever. Guided reading. We're going to read through the book. Table of Contents. Skip that. Introduction. Skip that. Skip what? that. Bitters, liqueurs. It's a common... It's a, it explains different things. Ice spears. Ice spheres. Ice cubes. Crushed ice. Techniques like straining. Fat washing, skin washing, slim washing, wet washing, dry washing, dehydrating, rimming, jigger, cocktail shaker. It just keeps going. Where's the cocktail part? Where's the cocktail part? Hey, part two, cocktails. Wonderful. We're deeper down the rabbit hole than we were before. The off with her head cocktail calls for Kikirikui, Kikirikui, Metatlin Mezcal. I do not have any Mezcal, but it also calls for fresh-squeezed fresh lime juice, raisin and apple syrup. I don't even have raisins. 
A one long dash of lavender bitters. I have plenty of bitters, but none of them are lavender. None of them will put me to sleep. An egg white and one, count them one, edible flower. It doesn't say what type of edible flower. It just says a and, and a, just one edible flower. So, uh, next drink. The golden afternoon. I was actually able to make the golden afternoon because it called for a particular iced tea mix, which I had made of, I had made previously. It was very, very lemony and very, very English breakfast tea -y. And that was pretty good. I got a previous video for stuff on that. And it uses the Golden Afternoon. It uses lemon, bourbon whiskey, iced tea mix, ginger ale, and fresh mint. And it's a good one. It's a good one. The White Rabbit. This is a crazy one. This is a crazy one. The White Rabbit calls for all butter shortbread biscuit crumbled inside of your shaker. Unsalted butter. Vanilla bean and cake frosting infused vodka, which I tried to make one time. It did not come out very well at all. Half and half, gooseberry jam, fleur de sirol, elderflower liqueur, as well as freshly squeezed lemon juice, roasted lemon zest, as well as a lemon wheel. I don't have even half of those ingredients. I don't. And I'm not going to pretend like I do. That's just, that's just a lot. I have to plan, that's the thing, I would have to plan for these cocktails in advance because I would have to make everything and go out of my way to find the ingredients and whatnot, but maybe I'll find something in here. Uh, the Drink Me cocktail calls for Cherry Hearing. I have no idea what that is. Vanilla bean and cake frosting infused vodka, butter toast infused rum, turkey rum, pineapple juice, toffee syrup, and fresh squeezed lemon juice. Don't ask me. I mean, they have full instructions on how to make all of these infusions in this book. And I, I'm very curious to see how they... So apparently... The, the, so the Drink Me, right? In the book, it describes the Drink Me potion thing that has a sort of a mixed flavor of cherry tart, custard, pineapple, roast turkey, toffee, and hot buttered toast. So they tried to do all of that in this particular cocktail by infusing liquor with not just buttered toast cake frosting, but also turkey. That's pretty crazy. I don't have any of those things prepared, but I'm curious to see what else is in here. Curiouser and curiouser. The White Rabbit does sound pretty interesting, though. I am super curious about what the drink we would taste like. Because, like, I don't, I don't think I've ever had any sort of umami taste in my cocktail. Something meaty. I don't think I've ever had, like, a meaty ingredient in a cocktail. I'd be very curious to see what kind of flavor that that would impart upon the cocktail itself. Another drink in this book is the Pool of Tears. Lemon slice, sea salt, calvados, which is a type of wine that I don't have, pear juice, poire william, a pear liqueur, rosemary and salt syrup, yum, uh, fresh squeezed lemon juice and rosemary. So it's a lot of rosemary. I don't have any rosemary. I also don't have calvados or any pears. We have rosemary. We have rosemary? Rosemary spice. We apparently have rosemary. I just learned this. Pretty cool. Ooh, pizza. Pizza rosemary. The next cocktail is the Curiouser and Curacao. Get it? It's a play on words. Vroom, vroom, vroom. I just keep on going. The Curiouser and Curacao uses burnt peach puree, bourbon whiskey, orange curacao, orange and mandarin bitters, as well as a burnt peach slice and grated nutmeg. I got some grated nutmeg. All right, I could grate some nutmeg, but I don't have anything else. I don't have all these weird bitters that you speak of. These fancy, fancy bitters. I have none of those. I have none of those bitters that you speak of. I have interesting bitters. I've got some chocolate bitters. I've got the Angostura bitters, orange bitters, Pichaud's bitters, and I also have sassafras bitters, which go very, very well in your Manhattan if you ever make one. The Caucus Chaser uses... What is going on out there? Listen to very interesting music as they go by. The caucus chaser goes and does a plum liqueur. Oh my god, a new VIP! Thank, I guess. Wow, you just popped on in here. It's totally unexpected like that. What's up, youngin? Coming on a cocktail stream. Awesome. Well, because of our newest VIP. Ooh, there we go. Oh goodness, I need to put this party hat on my head because I can't t tell you to put a party hat on your head. So I will put one on you for you because this is a party that we got going on here. And this is how we do parties. There we go. Now I feel comfortable. I got both of my horns. I got both of my horns back. Yes. Well, welcome to the party as a fanciful VIP now, thank I guess. I really appreciate your sub to the community. 
Anyway, the caucus chaser uses a plum liqueur by Bramley and Gage, orange curacao, creme de satin, chestnut liqueur. It uses fresh squeezed lemon juice and egg white, plum jam, and orange zest. Just more ingredients that I don't have. I could go through this book for days, honestly. Vroom, 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 but just keep on going. There's a lot. There's like a lot in here, and I don't think there's any in here that I could particularly do justice to, so I... I've gotten about halfway through it. Man, it's very loud out there. A little bit of a public nuisance. What'd you say, babe? When they're in full strength mode. Full strength mode, they go by for a couple minutes. Yeah, I believe that. Two minutes at a time. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, crazy. Oh, I'm getting up off my sit pad. I don't need to sit down anymore. I'd like to just get up and go. Get up and go. Get up and go. Pig and pepper. I don't have pancetta. Duchess soup. I don't have black pepper syrup. Cup of mad tea. I don't have Darjeeling gin. Painting the roses red. I don't have raspberry. Actually, I do have raspberry liqueur. I do not have raspberry and licorice syrup or rose water. Queen of hearts. I don't... Uh, no, I... Ooh, I don't have... Oh, but I do. Okay, but I don't have freeze-dried raspberry power or a piece of cord have... stick. We do have frozen raspberries. We do have ra frozen raspberries. We don't have it in powder form. It's freeze dried. And I also don't have whatever the heck cord stick is. Or unbirthday card? What? That's weird. I don't know what that means. To make this drink, you pour tequila, Campari, and elderflower liqueur into a Boston glass. Got that. I've got all that stuff. I can do tequila, Campari, and elderflower liqueur. And then cube dice, you hand press the juice of the lime into the mixture, shake for 20 seconds to so straighten out the ice for the next stage, you add the egg white to the Boston glass, give the mixture a shake for roughly 8 seconds, then pour straight into a coupe, the egg white should create a foam layer of foam. To finish it, you place a stencil on top and sift the freeze-dried raspberry powder onto the stencil, making it look evenly covered. Oh! You could totally do that without that. I can do that without the stencil. I'm gonna do that! Oh my god, that's so cool! Okay, so what I need to grab is tequila, Campari, elderflower liqueur, and I have lime juice over here. Oh, this is gonna be cool. I'll get out the frozen raspberry. That's gonna be very interesting. No, no, I don't need frozen raspberries. You don't want no frozen raspberries? No, I'm not gonna use the frozen raspberries. But why not? Because they need, because they need to be uh, dusted on top in, in a powdered form. It's for the stencil. <gasps> it's for the stencil. I'm not gonna be able to do that. No. But I do have elderflower liqueur, I do have Campari, and I do have tequila, tequila. I laid out the Campari and the Elderflower liqueur are right next to each other, which is honestly a pretty big coincidence because I didn't, I didn't do that on purpose. Whatever. I got all that thing, that things. So let's do it again. Do it, do it, do it again. Cocktail time continues next time on Dragon Ball Z. So I don't have. Where is that? Briotet Fleur de Suro, which is elderflower liqueur. I got, I got bulls. I got bulls elderflower liqueur because they didn't have Saint Germain or Saint Germain, however it's supposed to be pronounced. They didn't have that at my store, unfortunately. Uh, instead of a Don Julio Anejo tequila, I have a Casadores Reposado tequila. And instead of Campari, I've got Campari. Deal with it. What? And basically, you just pour those into your glass, and well, we see what happens. So, yes, you were supposed yeah, to be I confused by that. I need some ice in my cocktail shaker too. Uh, let's do this the most not so dirty way possible. Let's put my phone on top of it. There we go. Those are cold, the ices, the ices are cold, who knew? Where's my big cocktail shaker? Where's the cocktail shaker? Cold, oh it's right here. Oh there it is, yeah you cleaned it. Thank you so much for doing that. I'm gonna put it in the tiny one actually. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Oh, get in there, there we go, look at that. I'm gonna flip that too. Ooh, that's fancy. That doesn't make sense. That's fancy, like that. No, you do, you do a little flip, you could it with the other hand, maybe pass it out the other one, flip it again, it's fun stuff, you know? This is what we do around here. Uh, what I was practicing actually the other day that broke my cocktail shaker was I was practicing doing some flips into the actual cocktail thing itself. So what I would do is I would do something like, uh, do something like this, and then catch it within the glass. I didn't do it very well, but, um, something like that. And I did that, and I broke my shaker, so, uh, I'm trying not to do that again. My goodness. Be careful about the window. Be careful about the television. This is a television. What happens if I just whack? Just like that. Ha <laughs> ha. I'd kill that first, probably. Yeah, I gotta watch out for that stuff. I truly will. So, I'm butchering this recipe a little bit. 
Um, uh, I'm improvising here, so that's what we're gonna go with. I need an ounce and a half of tequila. Tequila. Have any of you ever watched that video of the guy who did that for like, I feel like there's definitely multiple videos of it, if it's the guy doing tequila for like karaoke or something, and it's like, dan -dan 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 -dan. he's like, tequila, very, very casually, tequila, that was right on time, that was beautiful. We also need a half an ounce of Campari, Campari is a bitter orange liqueur. What does that mean? Well, kind of smells like a spiced up orange. Kind of smells like a spiced up orange, something like that. But if you take it and you put it in your mouth over there, it's a little bitter tasting. And that's why they call it bitter orange liqueur over there, there, dear Karosi Mao. To edumacate you, because clearly you needed the edumacation. We'll take a half an ounce of that Campari and I'll put it in our cocktail shaker. This is going to be a very interesting conversa uh, conversation. Very interesting conversation. It's already a very interesting conversation. A very interesting combination of elderflower liqueur, tequila, and Campari. I I don't even know what to expect, honestly. Then we take a half an ounce of that elderflower core. Oh, let me close off my, uh, let me close this off over here, my Campari. When I took, I actually took a bit of bartending classes too, not in my university, at some place totally different. And what I did was I tried to memorize some of the, the recipes by kind of coming up with songs in my head. And I remembered how to make the Negroni. It was, I think it was the Negroni. And that comes from gin, gin and Campari. Gin Campari, and then whatever else comes into it. Probably some bitters or whatever. I don't really remember, to be perfectly honest. I don't memorize... I, I was going to say I don't memorize things well. I memorize things very well, but I didn't choose to memorize that very much. Elderflower liqueur in the glass. By the way, for those of you who don't know, elderflower is awesome smelling. It is just... It's so... It's so... Like... Like, um... Effervescent. To the smell like if you've ever taken like a smell of like uh, one of those Vicks Vapo rubs it doesn't smell like that I'm not saying it smells like that but it's got the same effervescence quality to it kind of almost menthol -y with a little bit of sweetness it's great you like my horns two new subs today getting up in the world getting up in the world of awesome 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 quality content that's what we're on here for quality content check out my buddy twitch.tv slash thank I guess what a nice guy what a nice guy. What an awesome guy. Shout out. Love that. Yo, Malfi Gothi, what's going on, my friend? We're making cocktails over here. It's actually just cocktails this time. There has been no video game. If you came here for video games... Sorry, you came to the wrong place. I'm sorry to disappoint. We're making cocktails. We made a mocktail before, too. That's fun. It's whatever you do. It's whatever you do. Uh, I'm sipping on a cocktail over here. Tasty. It's blue. It's complex. I like that. I also need... Half an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. So I need to open up another lime for myself. Woo! I'm a realistic de I'm a retired demon lord with the two party hats. Today, I'm retired demon cocktails. Actually, wait, wait, I have to remember. Anna, do you remember the Jonas demon voice? I wish I remember oh. what that sounded like. Oh, oh I can't remember what that sounded like. Okay, okay, it was the graspy voice you just graspy did, voice? except... Deeper, deeper and kind of like sucked in like your robot. I don't know. I, I wish I could remember that demon voice. There's a friend, there's a mutual friend of ours that does a really awesome demon voice, and I used to be able to do it. And I can't remember what it sounds like for the life of me. It's de demon voice. Demon voice. Something. Was it something like this? That was it. This was the demon voice. Anyway, welcome to another demon cocktail adventure. My name's Cameron. It's spelled with an X. It's demonic. Now we're slicing with lime. Did you know that limes? Demonic. The proof is in the pudding. The lime pudding. I hope that's coming through the microphone all right. Anyway, I need half an ounce of that lime juice. So I'm going to squeeze that. I'm going to squeeze it. I'm going to squeeze it too good. I need half an ounce of that lime juice. Squeeze. We squeeze it into the jigger as best as we possibly can. Perhaps one lime won't be enough. One half of lime. Thank you for joining us on Demon Cocktail Time. We appreciate you every day. Now for the other half of the lime juice. Yeah. 
just a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit of lime juice. Oh, that's decadent. Anyway, half of the lime juice into this container. In this little shaker over here. Perfect, 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 perfect. And note that for this particular recipe, I am leaving out freeze-dried raspberry powder. Oh, you know what I forgot? What? The egg white. Oh. But I gotta shake it up first. And then I add one whole egg white. I'm leaving out the freeze-dried raspberry powder, and I'm also leaving out whatever the hell a cord stick is. I really don't know what that is. But this was the... Oh, God, what was it even called? What was it even called? What are you called? What's your name? Telling your name. What was it called? Oh, my God. This is the Queen of Hearts cocktail from the Drink Me Curious Cocktails from Wonderland book. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love it or list it. I'd list it. I'm gonna pop that on in my cocktail shaker. First, we're gonna do what's called a wet shake. It's got ice in it. It's got ice in it. A dry shake is do without ice. Okay. Anna, are you grabbing me an egg? Yeah. Oh, she's grabbing me an egg. I'm very concerned. Oh, great. Now I need to strain out all the ice. So I don't want all, I don't want any of the ice. So I'm just to, to take my little strainer here. I'm just gonna strain it back into my other cocktail glass. Separate all the ice. There is no more ice in here. I need the egg white and only the egg white. It is not the egg yolk. If I get the yolk in there, God help me. Put the ice in here. Put it over there. And I got me an egg. With the egg yolker. Interesting. Let's make a sound over there. Oh, that's your theme. Egg yolker? I don't need the egg yolker. So just like you stick do it, it the classic way. Oh my god. All right, now I'm gonna. Uh, this this is egg. This is a real egg, not a fake egg. Real egg. Egg. Gonna crack that. I'm going to keep the yolk where it needs to be inside of the egg. I'm gonna try very carefully not to get that oak in, yolk in there. There's not really a trick to this. I just kind of send the yolk back and forth between one eggshell and the other as the egg white kind of comes back out of there. And what the egg white is going to do, it's going to emulsify as I shake things up a bit over here. And it's going to provide a little bit of an interesting layer to this cocktail. A little bit of frothiness. Oh, some of the yolk's coming out. That's okay. I got just enough egg white for that. So uh, I need my... Oof, I need something to carry this with. This is my junk container. Oh, that's eggy. Put that back down there. Awesome. I gotta, gotta wipe my hands off a little bit. A little gushy. A little gushy. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, this was the towel with the cement sludge in it. Oh, disgusting. How did that end up back over here? Oh my gosh. You That's left crazy. It there. I left it. That's so silly of me. I'm gonna take a swig of water, by the way. Remember, I don't care what you're doing. If you're consuming alcohol, if you don't want a hangover in the morning, drink water. Drink a lot of water. I want to just drink water. Just water, drink water in general. Keep your body hydrated. Your body can't function without water. Anyway, PSA over. Now I've got an egg white over here, and I've got the rest of the cocktail over here. So we're going to do it, mix it together, and we're going to do what's called a dry shake. It's a dry shake because it has no egg white in it. You have to be careful with your dry shakes. The reason why wet shakes with ice make cocktail shaking really really easy is what actually happens is the pressure on the outside of the cocktail shaker is higher than the pressure on the inside of the cocktail shaker because when things get cold things condense a little bit thermal expansion or rather the opposite so it actually creates a tight seal inside of your cocktail shaker dry shaking doesn't do that there is no ice in here this does not seal so if i don't hold this tight i'm getting egg literally all over the floor so i don't want to do that i don't want to do that at all so I'm just going to shake a, shake a, shake a, shake a, shake a, vigorously, because the book says vigorously, and you want to do that with your egg white, because if you don't do that with your egg white, it's going to come out all eggy. And do we really want eggy things over here? No, I don't think we do. I don't particularly want that. And I'm going to strain that out into a uh, cocktail glass. Here's egg in your face. There you go, just a whoosh, right into the camera. Right into the camera like that. I'm going to put this... Do I have any good glasses over here? I want to see, honestly, if it fits in this little... One of my favorite glasses. Actually, I'll put it put it over here. One of my favorite glasses. It's a little martini glass that we got from a place called Gatorland. Gatorland in Florida. And they got a bunch of gators. It's so funny. Look, look at this little guy. Oh my god. He's got those he's got that face. That he's got that face that says, Yeah, yeah, put an egg in me. Put the egg in top of my I, I wanna enjoy this egg. Real good, real good egg. Egg egg all the time. Eggs all the time. Eggs next eight years, eggs. 
Wow, that does not smell good in the cocktail shaker, but it doesn't have to. It actually smells a lot like elderflower, but elderflower and egg don't smell very good together. But uh, here we go. I'm gonna shake. I'm gonna strain that out. There we go. My cocktail glass. It's very pink. Oh, is that a lot? Is that too much? Oh, it's perfect. And then it's gonna come out of the top. See that foam? That's because of the egg white. It's gonna make a nice foam up on top of that, and that was because we added the egg white at the end. And dry shook it. That's pretty good looking. Honestly, that looks delectable. It doesn't have the stencil on top or the whatever, but that's just how it's gonna be. All right. Let's see how that tastes. This was the Queen of Hearts, and it's pink. What, what was pink in there? Oh, the Campari. The Campari is red, so that would make it pink. I'm gonna go back over here. This is the Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts herself. It's very pink. It's very lovely. It's in a funny little frog glass. It smells like elderflower. It is very, very heavy on the elderflower. It's very potent in there. Oh, that's interesting. All right. So, Campari itself is a rather bitter liqueur, bitter orange. Honestly, it doesn't taste like orange to me. It just tastes like bitterness with a tad bit of sweetness. I get that. Right in the beginning. Right in the beginning, I get bitter Campari. Right after, I can taste the other flower. Actually, honestly, I can taste the elderflower the entire time. The elderflower does not go away. I think... There's a little bit of dryness that comes it's either from the Campari itself, it's either from the lime it's either the lime juice, the Campari, or maybe a little bit of maybe like a teensy bit of yolk that might have gotten in there with the egg white. Let's but see. it's all right. You want to try? Sure. I don't think you'll like it, but you can sure as hell give it a try. It's very pink looking. You'd think like, "Oh, this is sweet and delectable." Nope. Like, mm -mm. no, yeah, you wouldn't. It smells like tequila. It smells like tequila. Oh, I forgot there's tequila in there. Yeah. That ain't touching. There's tequila lips. in there. What's that one smell like? Uh, it smells different. Want to try that one? It's very yeah, hey, give that a shot. It smells like lime. It's lemon. Lemon. Are you sure it doesn't smell like lemon? I was gonna say. There's a big old, there's a big heap of lemon twist in there. Oh, yeah! it's disgusting. I forgot. She doesn't like the rum taste. It's not good rummy. Rummy, rummy, no good. Rummy, rummy, no good. Uh... I'm actually very new to the world of elderflower liqueurs and whatnot, so this is actually incredibly satisfying. It's just, I'm, I wasn't expecting that. Wasn't expecting that at all. It's like it's like bitter elderflower with that tequila in the background. Honestly, I kind of forgot about the tequila in there because every other flavor kind of masks it incredibly well, and it just kind of takes the tequila takes a backbone. The tequila takes like a backseat with all the other flavors that are coming forward in there. What was else was in there too? It was the lime juice, the elderflower, the campari, the and the tequila and the egg. But the egg really doesn't give a lot of flavor to it. It kind of just affects the texture. Wow. That's very, that's very, very different. I like that. Long story short, tastes like Campari. Bitter, bitter elderflower. Which is not that bad. Really not that bad at all. I really like that. Alrighty then. As you may have noticed, I have not been necessarily finishing all of my drinks today. That's because that just wasn't the plan to begin with. It's not about finishing all the drinks. You don't have to finish the drinks. I'll probably finish them eventually. I've got pre-made cocktails for later. It's great. And they're, I mean, they're not freshly made. But they're made nonetheless. You want glasses for almost? Just gonna f glasses? What do you mean glasses? Like mason jars? I'll take care of it later. Don't you worry about it. I'm gonna fill myself up on water, cause uh, I'm about pretty much empty on water over here. So just You're filling myself up much. Yeah, I'm using your double filtered water. Whoa, yeah, the tag just came back off. It's you want some it double only filtered water? Dies with you. <laughs> only only dies. What do you mean it dies? It falls off only with you. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing. I just break shit over here. Everything's breaking. Remember the stream broke? I remember that. I don't know what happened. That usually doesn't happen during live television. Live, live television. Thank you back for the double filtered water. Okay. We have a filter on the sink, and we have a filter in the picture, so it's double filtered water. It's double, double filter, double all the time. Fun, 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 fun. Looking forward to literally anything at this point. Let's see. Can we make another cocktail? Make another cocktail? Make another cocktail. I have gone through every single book that I have. I've tried to make one cocktail from each of the books that I have. I have six books. I had six cocktails, but there's so many more cocktails. The pink book claims to have over a thousand different girls' night cocktails for any day of the week. 
so that's a lot of cocktails. The Thousand and One Cocktails books, cocktails book claims to have also a thousand and one cocktails. Ooh, excuse me. Things are happening are inside of the there? system. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Needs more water. Oh, that's a tea book. Needs more water. Yeah, I have a book on tea too, but this this ain't about tea over here. I'm gonna go to I sleep soon. Maybe a nice days. final for a pep? Finale for pep? Absolutely. What, what, what do you what do you got? What kind of uh oh look I have a vodka book. That's you pretty cool. I, I apparently missed the book. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me go. This is the cocktail collection. This way. Look at all those different cocktail battle uh, uh cocktail bottles over there. Dalukare, Pep. Do you have do you have a request? Any of those bottles over there? There's plenty of bottles over there. Take your pick. Or give him a flavor and he can try Or that. any flavor too. I, I do fruit flavors too. Any any flavor really. I probably have maybe I have it. And if I don't have it, well, I'll get it out of shot. In the meantime, maybe I'll get some uh, things all cleaned up over here. Like a like a like a like a like a this glass and like a that glass. I'm not gonna put the two glasses together. Will you help me again? Well, do Aww. I have to clean them? I mean, just a little rinse out, probably. Oh, a Jaeger drink. Oh, I love, I love me some Jaeger. I do actually love Jaeger. It's very, it's uh, it's herby. It's herby and it's different. It's very licorice-y too. There was actually a friend of my, a brother of mine back in the Theta Chi land fraternity. Theta Chi, not wearing my letters, but who cares? And he and I bonded over our love for a Jägermeister drink. So I think what I'll wind up doing is I'm actually going to go into the Thousand and One Cocktails book because it has a glossary in the back for different types of recipes and what kind of what ingredients are used in them. So I'm going to take a look and see if Jägermeister is actually called out in this book because if it is, that's pretty cool. Uh, other spirits and oh, uh, uh, Jager Tay. On page 311, I don't know what Yagurte is. Yagurte sounds like it uses Jaeger. Let's see about that. Let's talk about Jaeger, baby. Let's talk about you. Yagurte. Okay, it does not use Jaeger at all. Hot first tea without milk, sugar to taste, schnapps or brandy. It lies of lemon. That's, that's lame. That's lame. That's not Jaeger. That's not what I want. Okay, this book is no good for that. Fine, whatever. Bad book. Bad book make me sad. What about the black cocktail book? Probably has Jaeger stuff in it. It most definitely does. I'm gonna go straight to the J page. Because the J page might have Jaeger in it. As one of the recipes. I'm gonna have to search around for that. The unfortunate part is I don't think any of my books have very, very good, very, very good glossaries for looking like reverse lookup for cocktails. Like I can find a cocktail by the name, but I can't find the cocktail by the ingredient, which is why I have an app on my phone called recipe keeper or something. I can actually look up by ingredient and it makes things totally easy for me. I know for a fact that I don't have any Jaeger cocktails in that particular uh, repository. So otherwise I would look there, but I know I know there's nothing going to be there. Anyone J, I'm looking for Jaeger, looking for Jaeger. I'm just going to flip this book in. Jaeger salsa. Oh my god, it's got salsa. Do we have any we salsa? Have salsa? We have salsa? Not much. But it also says to fill with Bloody Mary mix. And I know I don't have Bloody Mary mix. We don't have Bloody Mary mix, unfortunately. We do have salsa. You know? I am curious. I don't have tomato juice for you. Mm, I'm very curious. We have baby tomatoes. You know what I want to know? I want to see what Jaeger and salsa says like together. Pour glass, pour into glass with salted rim, optional. Garnish with lemon or and or lime and cherry. Oh my goodness. I don't have Bloody Mary mix. I could take some cherry tomatoes and mash it up in there. We're improvising. Jaeger salsa, baby! Jaeger salsa, baby! Okay. Salsa, 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 salsa time, salsa. Oh my god, I need to grab the Jaeger. Oh, okay. You just whacked sauce into my abdomen. Oh, oh are... my goodness. Hmm. Are they okay? Are they okay? Are the cherry tomatoes okay? I mean, they're like a little dried out. A little dried out? That's okay, they're okay. I'm just gonna squish them all up in a cocktail shaker. This is going to be probably disgusting. Oh, I also need, um, I need... A teaspoon container. Teaspoon, teaspoon, teaspoon. Teaspoon, teaspoon, teaspoon. I need a teaspoon measuring device. It teaspoon measuring device. device. Where's the teaspoon? I see tablespoons, no teaspoon. Do you have a teaspoon? Teaspoon. Teaspoon, teaspoon, teaspoon. There's a teaspoon. Perfect. Ignore the loud noises. Nobody minds loud noises. Forget about loud noises. Loud noises just happen here on this channel. 
Welcome to the channel 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 camera with an X bar with an X and X is silent. We all knew this already Anyway, Jägermeister is a botanical liqueur. It mostly tastes like licorice, but I like licorice So, uh, you know, I'm not really losing anything out on there This calls for two whole ounces of Jägermeister. Uh, this is a shaken drink. So, oh god I feel so bad for one of my other cocktail shakers uh, Let's go on a tiny one again. I gotta I gotta fill it with the mice. Excuse me. I'm walking on a screen again Shame on me for locking off screen again. My goodness. My goodness, my goodness. Let's put three ice cubes in there. One, two, and three. Boom. How many of these tomato things you want? How many tomato things? How many tomato te things are you giving me? As many as I can. It calls for uh, Bloody Mary. Uh, it says filled with Bloody Mary mix. And I can't. I don't have Bloody Mary mix. You would need to put like Tabasco in there and Worcestershire in there and XYZ in there. And I don't have any of that. I literally, I don't have Tabasco sauce. I don't have a Worcestershire sauce. I don't have horseradish. I got none of that. All I got are cherry tomatoes. So we're going with cherry tomatoes. This is going to be so bad. I don't think it's going to be that bad. I mean, if it is, then, well, at least we got it filmed on camera. <laughs> funny, funny. I'm going to start out with... Actually, Anna, do you have those cherry tomatoes? What are you doing? I'm cutting off the bad parts. Don't... Okay, okay, okay fine. That's, that's cool. That's cool, actually. I'm yeah, going to shave this in the top of it. That's stuck on the top. I don't want you eating That's a good point. Is this the right top for this thing? You're this is the right top. Perfect. Got to mush him hard? Yeah. If there's one thing I do with my mushing, it's do it hard. So, I'm really I, I think it'll be all right. I think it'll be all right. Everything will be all right. I'm going to use this little sh this little big shot glass down here to store my ice in while I'm just preparing the uh, little cherry things over there. I'm going to pre-measure out my um, Jägermeister, which will cause for two heaping ounces. So that's basically the entire drink. The entire drink is probably going to be a Jägermeister. Love me some of that Jägermeister. Love me some of that Jägermeister. You're gonna pour that into my jigger. Two ounces. That's pretty full. Love that. You're gonna have to smush these. Do you still have that, um, spoon? I don't have the spoon, but I'm gonna use the ice to my advantage. Actually, this should be good. Actually, you know what? This... I got muddled stuff in here. I take it back. I'm not using the tiny shaker. I'm using the big shaker for this one. Tiny shaker's not gonna be up for the job for this. Got it! This is an entire container of cherry tomatoes, so that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna pour them all in there. In place of Bloody Mary mix, we're using cherry tomatoes. Will this hurt me? Maybe. I don't know. That's what we're here to find out, right? Oh, shit, yeah. Shit, shit what? What do you mean, yeah? Well, they're acidic. Yeah, they're acidic. All right, I'm gonna mush this up with a- I, I had a spoon over here. I had a spoon, so I'm just gonna squish it. I'm gonna squish it in the glass. Squish, 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 squish. It's a metal spoon against tomatoes. Like, who's gonna win? Metal spoon. I, I think. Not that one. Those tomatoes might not like it. Ooh, tomato, tomato, tomato. Tomato, tomato. Wait, let's see. Squish, 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 squish. I don't have a muddler. If I had a muddler, this would be a lot easier for me, but I don't have a muddler. Yeah, that's a that's quite a bit of juice in there. And then I'm going to add my ice cubes one by uh, all of them at the same time. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing again and let the ice cubes do the talking. Yeah. Try my best this here. Muddling up some cherry tomatoes. That's probably okay. I'm sure when I shake this thing around, the it'll, uh, it'll, it'll do a lot for me. Anyway, now I'm going to add two ounces of Jägermeister. Put that in there. And then I need two teaspoons of salsa. Uh, I guess I'm going for the chunks. Because there's chunk. this is a chunky salsa. It's chunky, medium, Tostitos salsa. So that's what we're going with. Salsa, baby. Salsa, salsa, baby. It smells like... Ooh, smells like salsa. Salsa, baby. See, cocktails can be weird. They can be forgiving or they can be um, absolute hell. So uh, this is a, this feels like a hell one. I like that. All right. Uh, that's essentially a tablespoon. Salsa. Actual salsa. Into my cocktail shaker. My God. And then we're going to go with it again. Let's see. It might be good. For all I know, this is a beautiful flavor combination that I've just yet to experience in my life. And, uh, well... At least, like I said, at least we got it recorded. We got it recorded. I like the fact that it's all on camera. Now we get to see. All right. Now, I'm going to shake it. So I need my other half. I need my other half of the thing. Give it a flip. Perfect. Give it a flip. Break the TV. Drop it on the floor. Put it back up on top. It's great. Like chicken tendies and nacho cheese sauce. More, might be, you, you, know, you might be like, ah, oh, this ain't going to be good, but it might be. Let's do it. Okay. Ooh, that's sizzling. Listen to that sizzle. Ooh. I don't know what's causing that. 
Maybe it's the salsa. But it's very concerning. Maybe it's the demons. There are demons in this glass. I'm gonna shake it real hard because I want to make sure all the tomatoes are crushed up. All right. It says put it in a salt rim glass. I could. Oh. What was that reaction? Oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. We're doing it. We're doing it. I'm so concerned. You know what I do? This is one of the hidden party hats. You found one. Congrats. You're gonna put it in that thing? I'm gonna put it in a champagne flute. Cause yeah, why the hell not? Why the hell not? We're going for it. Are you gonna strain it? I'm go yes, I'm going to double strain it. Where's my other strainer? Oh, come on. All my strainers keep going missing! They're largely not the drying area. The no, they're not. Oh, yes, they are. Woo! I you're totally awesome right. Oh, my right. goodness. You're so awesome. I saw the one strainer. I was like, but what about the other one? Like, oh, okay. All right. I hope I'm going to be able to get this in here. I need a. I think I'll need a funnel, too, to be able to fit this in this tiny little container over here. I think I require a funnel. I'll get a funnel. Can you help me with the funnel, my Where dear? Where is the funnel? Uh, the funnel somewhere. Probably in the sink at this point. I'm going to move these guys out of the way. Why do we only have one big funnel? We only have one big funnel, and then we have one small funnel. Where's the small funnel? I don't know where the big the small funnel is. Did you... I don't think it's broken. Well, I don't know where your small funnel is. One funnel to rule them all. One, I don't know, more stuff. A funnel. I, I'm going to have a hard time straining like this. Thank you so much, my dearest. You are the biggest help I could have literally ever asked for. All right, here we go. You threw my favorite party hat on the ground. I didn't throw hey. no party hat. Oh, is it pink one? Well, all right. Well, actually, this isn't a very good view from here. Let's go from here, because now it's better, because now you can see the entire thing. I am going to take this monstrosity and double strain it, no funnel, in this glass. Let's do it. Oh, ew! Oh, God. Oh, God. That's not going through the second strainer very well. Doesn't like that. Oh, my God! Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's everything out of the cocktail shaker. Let's go back to the live cray, live cam. It even makes a terrifying sound as it goes inside. Like this liquid will not come out of this strainer. I'm trying to shake a shake a shake a, but it's not helping. It's too thick. My god, it's too thick. Anyway. Um that literally looks like salsa. In a cocktail glass. Oh my god. Um, you know what's shocking though? It looks very similar in color to this one. Like, like, that is shockingly similar. Oh, goodness. One's pinkish and one's... Gah! Gah! Jeez, look at that. Alright, well. This one's called Jaeger Salsa. It's Jaeger. And Salsa. With Bloody Mary mix, which I don't have. It smells like licorice and salsa. Heavy on the salsa. Mm. Okay. So I'll give it this, right? I'll level with you. Jaeger. I taste it. I taste it in there. I totally get the Jaeger. I got that. But the salsa just so so salsa is very forward. A little spicy. It's on the chunky side. It's very forward with that salsa. It's very salsa in your face. You like salsa in your face? You got it. Salsa in your face. Right after you're like, oh, I'm safe. It's familiar salsa. It hits you and you're just like, hey there, my name's Jaegermeister. I'm the master hunter and I'm about to infiltrate your taste buds. And you're like, oh God, please no. Please don't do this to me. Not now. I was just enjoying my salsa. And then that's what it does to you. It comes right in and you're just like, now you're going to deal with me now and the salsa. And what that means is you're going to get licorice. You are going to get tomato. You are going to get salt? Pepper? Like peppers, as in like the the the, the peppers things, the fruit, not the not the peppercorn. That's no, I don't no no I don't like that. It's I don't like how it's almost spicy. It's almost vinegary too. Oh goodness! It looks like someone bled 
and mixed it with like barbecue sauce. Stop drinking it! Oh my god! I just I want to make sure I'm tasting that correctly. Oh god! Oh dear! Yeah, no, it's when you aerate it, it's Jaeger. Anything else, it's salsa. Uh, I can't drink that without throwing up, so I'm not I'm not continuing with that. That's a uh, demon. Demon drink, my goodness. I'll be perfectly honest, though. I have never made a cocktail that totally pushed the boundary to what I thought may or may not taste good, so I'd like to thank you for that suggestion. Although it really wasn't much of a suggestion, I, I feel like I had to do it. I had to. I had to. And I'm glad that it was at least, you know what, we tried it. We tried it. We didn't say no. We said yes and then learned from our mistakes. And that's really what we're all about here at uh, Camera with an X Enterprises, the uh, X is silent. Since when are you an enterprise? I'm an enterprise. I'm anything I want to be. I'm an enterprise. Cool, I want to be a fleet. Starship Enterprise. Yeah, it's getting pretty late over here. Getting pretty, pretty late over here. Early. Gotta say about that. Uh, I try to deal with, I tried to start things a little later so I can go for, not too long, but because uh, there's no, there's no games to break up the time or anything like that. This is a pretty new thing for me. Oh my god, the um, the Queen of Hearts really takes the uh, Jaeger salsa out of my mouth. Tastes so much better now. Oh, it's great. Oh my goodness. Clips! Clips, I say! More clips! And now the whole world gets to know. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Well, I'm glad the world knows about that now. It's now saved forever for posterity, pr pr posterity purposes. And I'm totally down for that. Yeah. Um... Oh, there's a flashy light outside. Flashy lights. Pretty cool. Um, I definitely want to make at least one more cocktail tonight. One more cocktail. I'm not going to drink them all, obviously, but I want to, I want to let the line night off quickly, at least for me, with something that's a little, uh, little, little chill. A little chill time. And what I will do that with is my final book over here. I forgot I had this one. It's called Make Mine Vodka. It's about vodka cocktails. I don't know, there's probably something... To be perfectly fair, I had no idea... I completely forgot that I had this book. So I'm going with it. Oh, excuse me. Thanks everybody so much so far for coming along with me on this adventure. It's been a, it's been a blast. I like this. And I've become slowly, but surely, more demonic as times go on. Wow. My voice sounds really weird now because these party hats are over the top of my ears. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll push them to the back. There we go. Yeah, all right. Not too bad looking. This book is about vodka. It's actually more about vodka tips, more so than anything else. There's not... There's a lot of cocktails in here, but like, you know. I'm glad everybody's enjoying them. So I'm glad... Dalukare, da Pep, I am so glad that you popped in while you did. Thank you for doing so. I, I truly enjoy your company here. And it'd be cool to do this in real life, too. Just like, just hanging out, doing something crazy like this. Got, got all my cocktail things here. My door's always open. Doesn't matter. I don't care if you're from the UK. I don't care if you're from Scotland. I don't care if you're from Germany. I don't care if you're from the state next over. My door is open. Right, Anna? My door is open? Right? Yeah? Yeah? She's brushing her teeth right now, but she definitely nodded her head. Yes, for sure. The door is open. I love this kind of stuff. Uh, it just, this book talks a lot about techniques and stuff, but like, where's the, where's the recipes, right? Um... This calls for orange vod vodka. Don't have any of that. This one calls for blackberries. I don't have any blackberries. This one calls for the Bloody Mary. I am not touching anything tomato -y. again. No, no. I'm, I'm scarred for life. Chocolate liqueur, cherry brandy, vodka, and vanilla vodka. The cherry bomb. I don't have vanilla vodka, unfortunately. Do I have anything vanilla-y? No, I don't think I do. I don't think I have anything that's vanilla-ish. So I wouldn't even be able to replicate that if I wanted to. Cherry bomb. I don't think about that. That seems pretty cool, honestly. Let's see. Uh, Citronetta cooler, white rum, coconut rum, grenadine. Pentax, that's that's easy. I don't like that. Uh, vodka Cointro, Southern Comfort in vodka and lime. I'm going to dance around as I find more things in this book. Cream Sickle uses orange liqueur. Mm, nah, that's boring. This is a bit of the process that I go through when I'm trying to figure out like a drink that I want to make in general. It's like, oh, that's boring. Eh, that's okay. Mm, I don't really like that. Mm, don't have the ingredients for that one. And make sure I just settle on something. And uh, that's kind of how I that's kinda how I do my thing around here. What's the dilly... The dilly teeny? The dilly teeny uses fresh dill. Like pickles. Dill pickle. But uh, I don't have any dill pickles, so... Shucks. 
Sucks. This one calls for brandy, vodka. The Flying Fortress calls for brandy, vodka, orange liqueur, and absente. Now that absence has been reimagined in a form that's safe, this World War II era cocktail made as originally intended. What is is absente? Just another way of saying absence. I gotta look that up. I gotta double check that. I gotta check myself before I wreck myself. Absente, 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 sente, sente. No, not absent. I don't want the definition of absent or absent in Spanish, apparently. No, absente is just absent. I actually picked up absence the other day at the liquor store. I'm gonna go with that one because I've, I've been meaning to try a cocktail with some absinthe. It's, it's a, it's gonna be a fun one. I need brandy, vodka, orange liqueur, and absente. Uh, I'm gonna go with, I'm not gonna use the curacao this time, the blue curacao, because the absence is a little green. And I really want to see that green color come through. So I'm going to opt for the actual triple sec, which is clear colored. Let's see. I need my triple sec. I have my vodka over here and I need brandy and I need my absinthe. I actually just bought my brandy and my absinthe the other day. So this is exciting. This is exciting for me. New flavor combinations. I've got, I've got my Dick Hyper triple sec. I've got my, my absinthe, which is hanging in the corner over here. Cute little absinthe. I actually have to climb on top of my cabinet to be able to grab this one. And I need brandy. Just, just regular brandy. Just regular, regular brandy. The only brandy that I used to have was uh, Laird's Applejack, which is technically apple brandy. And technically, I have a liqueur called Kirschwasser, which is cherry brandy. So I really didn't have a lot of brandies before, and now I have, well, a couple of different brandies. But I'm just going for a regular, uh, this one is a e and j brandy it's just brandy brandy it's not any particular fruit it is just brandy 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 is just a, a liquor that's distilled from fruit in general and by the way i'd like to sincerely apologize for the absolute mess that i've left my bar over here but you know i don't really have a lot of space that i'm working with i'm not a minimalist i'm just working with the space that i've got over here so um sorry not sorry sorry not sorry i've got a recipe for something called the flying fortress it is one and a half ounces of brandy, an ounce of vodka, three quarters of an ounce of orange liqueur, which I will use triple sec, and three quarters of an ounce of absente. Yeah, brandy's just like, it's, it's, it's fruit. What kind of fruit? Fruit, fruit. Yeah, fruit, fruit, brandy. Fruit, brandy. Everybody likes fruit, brandy. Uh, I need another glass for this. So let's move some things around. Is this one shaken? Pouring greens in a cocktail shaker filled with ice. Shake briskly. So I'm going to, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take any of the necessary stuff off the table. The cocktail shaker with uh, salsa in it? Yeah, off the table. Get out of here. Bar spoon. I really didn't need to use the bar spoon too much. Ugh, I love this guy. Put that down here. Uh, this cocktail is currently being dealt with. This can go over here with the other disgusting messes and stuff. Little off-camera action over there. Nobody needs to worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Nobody got to worry about that. This cocktail shaker. Oh my god, that's a lot of cherries in there. How does that smell? We do not speak about cherry and licorice together ever again. I'm sorry, not cherry. Cherry tomato. We don't speak of tomato or salsa and licorice the same way ever again. We, we just don't talk about that. We don't talk about it. Got some more cocktails on camera over here. I'm going to move the actual cocktails over here. So that I have some camera space for the next one. Oh my god! Yo, check this out! The salsa, the, the Jaeger salsa has actually separated. You see that darkness up on top? That is just all gook. That's all gook right there. There is a visible difference. That thing separated in the glass! I drank all that shit! Oh my god! Anyway, moving it off camera. That's disgusting and terrifying. But we had to, we had to see it here. You saw it here first, folks. Jaeger Salsa. Do you hate your patrons? Of course you do. It's the service industry. We all do. Well, now you can finally get back with them. They said Jaeger Bomb? I'm sorry. Did you say Jaeger Bomb? I thought you said Jaeger Salsa because obviously that's what you'd be, you'd be asking for at this bar over here. So, oops. Sorry. Not sorry. Anyway, I'm going to put this in a cocktail shaker. I need some ice. Ice, ice, ice in a glass. Ice, ice, ice in a glass. Ice in a glass. I'm really glad that I actually didn't run out of ice this time. I honestly thought that I wasn't going to have enough ice for all the cocktails that I was making this session. I mean, we made 
Seven cocktails tonight. Don't get me wrong, everything in moderation, right? We made about seven cocktails tonight, and I drank probably the equivalent of, let's say, one, two, three of them, perhaps. And I had a big dinner tonight, so that's how that's how I go about doing these things. And you have to prepare for... I didn't prepare a lot for this. I set up my bar, I set up my cameras, I set up my mic, all that stuff. Look, there's my mic over here. Boop, boop. Got my mic over here. And, you know, I have all my cocktail stuff, but I made a big dinner. Two burritos! Two burritos tonight to get me prepared for something like this. Anyway, I got ice in my cocktail shaker, and I'm going to add one and a half ounces of brandy and... Okay, that's Jägermeister. I thought I'd have to be worried for a second. Just pour that into there. That's no problem. One and a half ounces of... I've got ENJ brandy versus... Oh, VS stands for very special. So it's not just special. It's very special. What does it smell like? It smells like brandy. It actually... It's a little fruity, but it mostly tastes like, like, it mostly smells like oak barrel, which is kind of vanilla-y. If you've smelled a whiskey, it's not as potent as whiskey is, but I know it's aged in the same process. I believe they used old whiskey barrels for brandy. I believe American brandy's like that, but that might be a, um, that might be cognac. And I, this is not cognac, this is just regular brandy. Cognac is just special brandy. It's like brandy, but by more stringent rules. Or it's only specifically from the cognac region of France. One and a half ounces of brandy in my cocktail shaker. In my cocktail shaker. I need one ounce of vodka. That's around here somewhere. There you are. Big old vodka pal. Big old vodka pal. I need one ounce of that. Flip that over. Full ounce of the vodka. Full ounce of vodka. It's a 360 vodka. It's the cheapest shit I could ever buy. I bought... Two of these giant bottles for like $25 at the liquor store like uh, a year and a half ago. Let's see. I made it for Anna's 21st birthday. She's 22 now. She's turning 20. Yeah, almost two years ago. So, uh, yeah. And I used it for infusion wounds and whatnot. Next, I need three quarters of an ounce of orange liqueur. I'm using the triple sec. It's a big old plastic bottle. That was also cheap, like 13 bucks. Who knew? Three quarters of an ounce of that. That's almost to the top, but not quite there. Three quarters of an ounce. Oh, almost there. Almost there to the top. There we go. Three quarters of an ounce. And then I need three quarters of an ounce of absinthe. This is actually the first time I have ever personally made a cocktail with absinthe. Because I just never got around to purchasing myself an absinthe. This one is literally... There is only one absinthe that I, absinthe that I can buy in Philadelphia uh, fine wine and good spirit stores. And it is this Vieux Carré Absinthe Superior. And it's greenish. It's cool. It's got one of those, like, pop-off bottles. Pop-off bottle tops. It's great. You just pull it right off. It's great. It smells like a, like a musk, like a musty licorice. Like a musty licorice. Not as potent as a Jaeger would be. There's so much else going on in there. Technically, it's supposed to be wormwood. I don't know what wormwood smells like, but, uh, I'm sure wormwood smells a whole hell of a lot like absinthe. And it's a little green. So, uh, that's what we're going with. Like a dark, like, putrid moss green. Not putrid. And that's gonna mix with the brown of the brandy. So, uh, we'll see what that winds up doing. Like a liquor-ish, if you will. Liquor-ish. Put that over here. Oh, put the absinthe down here. Let's see. This will, be, this will be my final cocktail for the evening. I do also have to get myself some sleep and whatnot. I gotta drink a lot of water to make sure I don't have no hangover in the morning. I'm feeling alright. How you feeling? I'm feeling alright. But so far, we will be ending with seven cocktails, and I have used in total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen bottles of things in my collection. Oh, I'm sorry, wait a minute. Eighteen. Nineteen. Nineteen bottles of things of all different types of reagents and whatnot. And this will be my final shake of the night. Let's do it. It'll be great. Oh, that's coming out. Oh, I don't like that. What's, why is that coming out? What the heck? I, ha I have two of these little shakers, and one top does not fit into the other, so I might have to kind of make it a mess for me, so. It's really weird. I don't like... It's getting literally all over the place. All right, well, that's why I have not the cement mixer towel. I have the regular towel. Regular towel. On the bright side... Bright side? My hands smell like absinthe. Bright side. I'm gonna take this out of here, put this into a glass. Do I have a spare glass around here? I do. I have a really cool glass over here. So I'm going with it. This would probably be better served with ice. Does it say put into an uh, shake briskly, then strain into a chilled cocktail glass, garnished with a slice of orange 
It says orange. So I will garnish with an orange. I forgot an orange. I have really big oranges over here. Slice of orange. Uh, man, what a waste of an orange. Let's cut that orange. Cut that orange good. Let's switch over to this view. Over here. My thing up in front. I'll cut a slice of this orange off. I have a very tiny knife. Tiny knife and tiny man versus big orange. Who will win? Who will win this time? It's the final orange. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Dee -dee 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 -dee. All right, that's part of the orange off. The other one. It says, what is it? Orange wheel? Slice of orange. Uh, did I slice that wrong? Eh, whatever. We're going to do an orange wheel. That's going to look really, really weird because this is a really big orange on a rather small cocktail glass. So uh, that'll be funny looking. We're all about we're all about aesthetically pleasing cocktails over here at uh, Camera with an X Enterprises. The X is silent, obviously. It's a part of the name. You have to say the X is silent. It's a part of the name. This is my orange wheel, orangey and wheelie. I'm just gonna get a slice in the center. Boop. Put that on the side of my glass. It might actually tip over the glass itself. That is not staying together very well. You know what? Special shot. There is my cocktail glass. Try it as I try it as I may. I'm gonna pour my cocktail inside of it very carefully. It's a really cool looking glass. Here we go. And that is my flying fortress. It smells all right. It smells all right. My flying fortress. It's flying because it has like it's got propellers on it. This is the orange wheel. The orange wheel is the propeller. That's why it's my flying fortress. Uh yeah. It smells like orange. Kind of absinthe. There's the I mean naturally it's absinthe. I don't really get a lot of anything else in there. There was also what is it? There was also vodka, brandy, and orange liqueur in there. It's very orangey. It's very orange and absinthe. So let's give it a try. Yeah, it's very, it's very absinthe. Wow, that is very absinthe forward. Wow, that does not go easy on you. That is not a drink for the faint of heart. It is super absinthe forward. Right after is probably the the kind of the the oaky barrelness of that brandy. And honestly, the, the orange kind of takes the back seat on it. I can smell the orange significantly, probably because there's a giant freaking orange wheel on it. But even aside from that, I can smell like it smells like orange and absinthe, and it tastes like absinthe and brandy. The vodka naturally wouldn't taste like anything, and the triple sec probably gets lost behind. The absinthe is extremely potent, so there's probably some interplay going on in there between the absinthe and the triple sec, the orange flavor, that I just can't quite detect with my palate just yet. I got this fancy orange piece though, so that's pretty cool. Take a bite of that, get some vitamin C. Like that. It's mostly absinthe. Mostly absinthe. You like absinthe? You like this cocktail? Flying Fortress. Love that. Oh. Honestly, I'll be perfectly honest. That about does it for me. I made like seven cocktails tonight. And I enjoyed every one of them except for one of them. Jaeger Salsa. No bueno. Don't like it, that one. Um, of the cocktails that I actually still have made left on the table, I'll put them into the close shot over here. This one over here was the Queen of Hearts. This one over here was the Flying Fortress. Jaeger Salsa. Uh, this one over here was the Rum Crusta. I also made a strawberry type mocktail, which whose name escapes me. Uh, I also made the Atomic Burst or something like that. A suitor called the Panty Burner. And the first thing I made was something completely different, and I don't exactly remember what that was. First thing that I made, I really don't remember what that was. Oh well, you can go back to the beginning of the video. I'll post all the recipes of this later on. I hope the those shots, those shots are pretty good for you. I'll post every single one of the recipes that I used, probably sometime on Twitter tomorrow. I'm tired now. I'll do it in the morning. But, uh, and I'll also, it'll be, it'll be back on YouTube as well. I'll put it in the, probably a pinned comment below. Put it in the description. Because, uh, I mean, if you're totally into this cocktail stuff, dude, share it with people. If there are people that you know who are, like, really into, like, really strange cocktails or really cocktail recipe thing, I have all these books over here. I'd love to go through all of them if I can. All the, apparently, 2,000-plus cocktails that I have recipes for. 
most of the a lot of them are probably all just copies of each other but i'd love to go through them all that's a bit of a hobby for me and i enjoy that stuff you know what i'm so happy that everybody came by for those who chatted i appreciate you for those who lurked i also appreciate you as well maybe you learned something maybe you didn't maybe you just had a good time maybe you put a smile on your face i'm really happy if it did so for you my name is cameron i spell my name with an x just like the bar x bar with an x the x is silent it's a, it's a thing we have on here it's always a party there is always a reason to celebrate i thank you so very much for joining me on this magnificent journey over here that is cocktail not chemistry but there was a bit of chemistry action going on here cement mixer that was the first one cement mixer that's a bit of chemistry on there a little acid plus cream and eh, whatever i hope that everybody has a wonderful rest of the night if it's not where you are i hope i have a wonderful rest of the evening if it's evening i hope you have a wonderful rest of the morning or the afternoon i don't know where you're watching from but i hope whatever it is that it's a good one thanks so much for joining me everybody i appreciate you all greatly